Hello, people. I am actually looking forward to doing this show because I have a pretty interesting topic. And let me explain something to you about myself. Uh, I've been in the pizza business most of my life. I've owned a couple of businesses. And I managed to uh, place a chain out of uh, Colorado Springs for several years. So I'm very familiar with purchasing, buying the price, uh, buying products for pizza, and the price of cheese. The price of cheese determines how much money and how much profit you're going to make in the pizza business. Cheese is everything, and uh, we're going to talk about that. And this whole subject is very interesting about cheese. Um, Anthony B, who is a good friend of mine, and he helps me with my. Uh, he does a lot of work on the website came up with the idea today for today's show you know so i wasn't even planning on doing a show about pizza or anything today but tony comes up with some good ideas sometimes and he says hey lee how about if you do this so tony thank you i love i love the idea i did some research on it there's been stories done matter of fact john panisi did a very good story on it uh so i you know you got to give guys their props when they deserve it. And John Panisi did a very good story on pizza wars and the mafia involved with pizzerias and the things that they do to make money. Uh, and there's quite a bit of things the mafia does. And uh, we're going to get into that in a little bit. I want to let more people get in here. But let me say hi to who's ever in the house right now. Okay. We have quite a few people already in the chat room. So I'm going to give it a good go right here. The truth. Very reliable guy. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, my daughter's here. Uh, New Beginnings for Unemployment uh, Mob Tube. Uh, I appreciate you being here, like always, Mrs. Faithful. Uh, the Captain. How you doing, Captain? I appreciate you being here also. Uh, Turd Bird. What a great name, Turd Bird. Okay. Uh Florida attorney. I don't think I've seen you in a couple shows. I appreciate you being here too. Let's see what Florida attorney has to say. But what about the trial of Torn Spickner's uh, at the Playboy Mansion who uh, knew Hef was such a backdoor assassin? I thought Playmates walked away from uh, High Hills, not uh, with bruised dirt. That you know, Let me tell you something. The Playboy Mansion, that whole thing was a very dirty business. And a lot of those women were taken advantage of. They were put up for prostitution. The stuff that used to go on the Playboy Mansion, you don't hear about. But a lot of those women were making a lot of money as high-class hookers. And people could say, old Hugh Hefner was something of a high-priced pimp. But, you know, if you really dig into that story about the Playboy Mansion, it's pretty fascinating stuff also. But... Um, you wasn't the sweet guy that everybody makes him out to be. Frank Devin, how you doing? Bill Jordan. So what Bill Jordan will show up today? The nice sweet one or the rude one? Let's see which Bill Jordan shows up today. Florida attorney, yes, the media will probably refer to this as the leather Cheerio case. They turn everything. Okay, pickle grams. You got. I put you on um, timeout because I don't mind you making statements and stuff, but YouTube looks out of them a certain way. So certain words, if you use them, I know you didn't mean nothing by them. But if I put you on a timeout, there's a reason for it. Uh, please don't take it personal. And that's it. <laughs> okay. You could say 40-ounce malt liquor. I mean, that you can definitely say. Frank, uh, tell BK to chill. I only watch Lee's content. I sometimes come in and chat, just want to be left alone. I've been watching Lee from day one. Yes, you have, and I don't cause any trouble between us. Hey, uh, pick a grams. Dude. I don't mind if you're in here, but we're not talking about blacks and milds and all that crap. Okay, so it's your choice whether you stay or not. But if you keep putting, you know, it's obvious that you 
have no reason in here right now, legitimate reason, except just to put stuff down that kind of start trouble. That doesn't work in here, my man. So you decide whether you want to stay for the show or not. BK Shalin, how you doing, my man? Always appreciate you showing up. Uh, I don't know how to get you a wrench through here like this. Uh, maybe um, you will be getting this. I don't know if you can get him a wrench, but I can't do it through this one. I have to go, and I don't feel like going back to the other one right now. It's going to just screw me up. Uh, but if you can get him one, BK, if I don't get you one today, I'll definitely get you one. James Weldon, how you doing? XXX, how you doing? Alana Terse, I want pizza now for lunch. You know, it's funny you said that. I was thinking the same damn thing. I mean, who doesn't miss a New York slice of pizza, especially a Sicilian? Uh, I'm out here in Texas. They have... Uh, no pizza. They got pizza out here, but the water's shitty here. And as everybody knows, when it comes to making pizza, the reason that the pizza is really good in Illinois and New York is because they have the best water for making pizza. The water in Illinois, a lot of it comes from Wisconsin. The water in New York City and Brooklyn especially comes from upstate through the reservoirs, like in White Plains, Valhalla. Those reservoirs there, they bring the water down to New York City. And yeast is the key ingredient to pizza, how it rises and how it tastes. Uh, and um, it's just New York water and, and Wisconsin water doesn't affect the yeast. Like if you, that's why you get shitty pizza in Florida and shitty pizza in Texas, because the water in Texas and Florida basically sucks. Okay, let's see. Grandma's pizza is the best. I haven't heard of it. I haven't heard of Grandma's pizza, but I'm sure there's a Grandma pizza. I know that in Yorktown in New York, there was a Grandma's Pie. As a matter of fact, I think Grandma's Pies is still open, and they're a restaurant, and they make pies, real pies, cherry pies, apple pies, all sorts of pies. Okay. Okay, and yesterday I... Um, I put some stats out from uh, Social Blade. And the reason I did that is because people like to start trouble and accuse people of having uh, buying subs and stuff. If, you, if people ever have any questions about people buying subs, uh, okay, Nika, being that you think that uh, um, he has a way better show, we're going to let you go watch his show, okay? Joey Electric, how you doing? Muscle, how you doing? Is this like Chicago Muscle changing his name? Uh, he thinks he's a big star now because he has like uh, 70 people that watches his videos. Is that the muscle right there, Chicago Muscle? You know, it makes me laugh, these guys that start their channels. And when they start their channels, you know what they do? They go after the guys that are doing good because they're not able to do their own product. They're not able to put out anything good. So what they say is, you know, they'll say, oh, well, I'll be friends with this guy and I'll attack this guy, a.k.a. who's the number one guy for making a channel like that. That would be that guy with the Caterpillar eyebrows. Should we say more? We know who that is. Don't make me drop another. I like the videos. You could drop as many as you want, brother. They don't bother me. Are you kidding me with all the tax we've been under in this, all the stuff we go through here? Do you think your little videos are affecting anybody? I think you're giving yourself a lot more credit than you deserve. The big pumpkin head is all delusional on the head. The guy has no respect for his subs unless he's getting donations. But you know what? The reality is this, people. If people want to donate, they can donate. And if they want to donate to him, oh, well, they donate to him. Uh, 
that's the good thing. Nobody has a gun to our head. No one's telling us that we have to donate to anybody. Um, Lee, FBS killed himself focusing. Yeah, he hurt himself bad. Uh, don't suffer the same fate by talking about views and sub. Chad, listen, I run my show the way I want to. That's just the way I do it. I'm going to talk about views and subs when I have to defend myself. And the one thing that really annoys me is when people tell me what I can put on and what I shouldn't put on. I put on what I want to defend myself. Now, if I put that on five, six days in a row, I can understand what you're saying. But I don't. So I'm not worried about my show getting killed. Okay, my show is doing just fine right now. Uh, but I do appreciate your advice, and I'll take it under consideration. Chicago Muscle sounds like Jeff Bridges. The young Jeff Bridges or the old Jeff Bridges? God, my phone just keeps ringing. One second. Let me see if it's anybody from the chat here. Okay. Uh, I appreciate that, Kevin. Thank you. Okay. So we're getting up here. I'm going to talk, uh, you know, when it comes to pizza, if you want a good pizza, you got to have good cheese. And there's two cheeses. There's bochi cheese and there's grande cheese. They're considered the best mozzarella cheese on the market. But Joe Bonanno, a very smart man, figured out how to make a lot of money off the pizza, the cheese that people need for their pizza. He basically bought a big chunk of the grande cheese company. And he didn't do that because he was a great businessman. He did. Well, actually, he was a great businessman. Let me rephrase that. What he did is he decided if he owned Grande Cheese, he can control the market because he knew any good pizza man knows that you need Grande Cheese to put make good pizza. You know, it's just a very good cheese. It costs a little bit more. But, but what he did when he owned Grande Cheese, he forced the other companies to buy his other products. What's the main products you need for pizza? Yeast flour, sauce, you know, any products for sauce, tomatoes, you know, marinara sauce, uh, if you want to have like mozzarella sticks, you know, all side products. So what he did, Joe Bonanno, he had, he carried all those products, but he raised the prices of those products. So if you wanted those products from other companies, let's say like Cisco or any of those other companies, you couldn't get them because those other companies didn't sell grande cheese. So you couldn't make a good pizza. So what people did is they started taking grande cheese and mixing it with mediocre cheese. And that's still what they do to this day. They mix the cheeses together. And they mix the cheese to save money because it's very hard to make a pizza with just grande cheese on it because it's so damn expensive. It's like grande cheese is like... Uh, like a prime rib steak, a, a ribeye steak. It's like of that brand. It's very expensive. So what Joe Bonanno did, and let me, you guys know who Joe Bonanno is, but let's show, show a picture of Joe Bonanno here. This is Joe Bonanno right here. So what Joe Bonanno did is he bought, he bought most of the company up and he started forcing these other companies to buy his cheese. And so, and, he would, and once you bought his cheese, you had to buy his other products. There's a company called Romo, Romo's. They, they deal in pizza. So he had a big part of that company too. So he raised the prices. Like you were paying extra for flour. You were paying extra for anything else you put on a pizza. But this is how the mob did it. Anything the mob put their hands in, it was never for good reasons. The mob did stuff to make money. They didn't care about ripping the little guy off. That's what they did. They ripped the little guy off. They even in the pizza business, they you know Joe Bonanno was forcing you to buy his product, whether you liked it or not, because that was the only place you were going to get the cheese. It was from him. And you know, let me go back here and see. What, if you guys want to answer on any of this stuff, feel free. Free. I'm going to drop the uh, invite. If anybody wants to jump up, feel free to jump up, and we'll continue talking about this subject. Uh, 
Okay, I got the, it's down there. Let's see. Uh, the captain, how about Johnny Maclover? I think he is more an embarrassment than FBS these days. He, he is an embarrassment. He, okay, listen. Um, I'm putting pickle grams on a timeout. If he continues that, block him, please. Bill Jordan, yes, it sucks, especially when you clean windows to make money and it's sub zero. Weathers are tough. It is. I'll tell you what, this is getting cold this winter right now, ain't it, people? Frank Drevin, I never had a problem with you. No. So we already, I'm trying to keep up on these because my daughter yells at me if I don't. Frank Drevin, I said the only cause you. Okay, well, you're just having a conversation right there. Westies, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Make sure and show, please hit the like button, people. I would really appreciate it if you do. Uh, and thank you for thinking I'm one of the good guys. Okay, let's see. Uh, Lee Cole, you have recorded other content creators. Okay, here we go. Well, you see, that's the difference what we do here. We let anybody come on this show. Like, if you tried to go on these other shows, they just block you out. Uh, Christopher Puma, can you show your face, please? I can, I, I haven't seen you before. My hairy cock! My it, hairy dude? cock! I got the cock! <laughs> they don't realize how easy it is to block them out. Chicago pizza the best. I, I'll, I'll take Joey. I'm sorry, man. I'll take New York over Chicago. Uh, uh, Chicago has great deep, deep dish, uh, deep dish pizza, but their thin crust pizza cannot be compared to New York. Grandma style pizza is Sicilian with thin crust. Okay, let's get back into another, let's continue this pizza conversation. Now, I did a show on my uh, website the other day. Uh, and what we do is once a week, we review a restaurant. And that's that. Uh, and, and we've been doing it now for a week. We're working on our second restaurant for tonight. And uh, let's see. I'm going to just talk about Ellen B. That's who we uh, did. <laughs> they have an amazing story, Ellen B. Uh, so you got to read this. Uh, let me see right here. Okay, people. So Ellen B, they make a Sicilian pizza and they put the cheese on the bottom. And the, I'm sorry, they put the cheese on the bottom and the sauce on the top. And it's called Upside Down Sicilian Pizza. And that's how L&B makes it. But they have a great recipe for the sauce. So there were two guys working there. And one guy stole the recipe. And what he did is he uh, basically opened up another pizzeria and started using the recipe. And it started a war. Literally, the mob got involved. And uh, let me... L&B, Spumoni Gardens is a pizzeria. It's located on Gravesend section of Brooklyn, which opened up in the 1950s and became an uh, iconic upside down. But it was open in the 20s, but then it moved to that area. And what happened was uh, 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 Lombardo, he was a gangster. And uh, Francis Guerrero was a guy, he was also an associate. And he noticed the similarities in the pizzas between the two places, the guy, the pizza, the, uh, the guy just opened up and this presented a problem because the mob got involved and they had a sit down and it was over the recipe. And uh, so during, he, he told him, he's, uh, he told the guy, you're a piece of shit scumbag. You robbed my family. I'll break your head. Taking matters in his own hands. Uh, he stepped forward and slapped Lombardo. So these are associates. They're slapping each other over a pizza recipe. So think about that. 
And, and so what happened is they wind up giving $10,000 to the owner of the pizza place, but the money never got to the guy. Never got to the, it's the mafia. So the money never got to the guy whatsoever. They stole the recipe. And so you had uh, the square was the name of the other place. So you had the same place, make it Sicilian pizza with the same recipe because one of the employees left and went to another place. It literally got the mob involved where the mob had to sit down and have a sit down, literally have a sit down with these people to stop a war. And the funny thing is a couple of years, uh, recently, about four years ago, one of the guys that was involved in that was shot to death in his house. And they thought it had something to do with the recipe. And this was years later, but it didn't. Actually, what it was, it was this guy that just wanted to rob him. And he went to the guy's house. He shot him to death in the backyard, uh, get, shot him five times. And uh, it turned out it wasn't over the recipe. It was just a guy looking to rob a guy that owned the pizza place. And that was a big case. And the shooting happened in 2016. And uh, once again, you know, you got pizzas. This is what's going on with the pizza business in New York, people. I mean, you got the mob involved, you got robberies going on, but which one's the worst? Ray's Pizza, dealing heroin. Now, the whole thing with the heroin thing started at Ray's Pizza, and uh, between 1975 and 1984, uh, they were dealing heroin at a Ray's Pizza. It was called the Pizza Connection, and the heroin was coming in from Sicily, and they were literally, like, taking pizza and delivering heroin also. And so they, and they got away with this for nine years, you know, and uh, specifically a okay, it's centered on a number of pizzerias used to distribute $1.65 billion worth of heroin. So that one place Ray started it and the main center, just pushing it out, all the heroin they would take the inside the boxes and stuff. That's how they were. And they were using the names of the business and just delivering heroin throughout all of New York City. And it was called the Heroin Connection. And it and what it was the longest trial ever when they busted these guys for doing this. The trial lasted almost two years. And a lot of people wind up going to jail in the end. Some guys are still sitting in prison. And the guy that... Uh, the guy to start, his name was Ralphie Como. He opened up uh, Ray's Pizza. On, it was on Prince Street. That was the original Ray's that opened up. Uh, there was another Ray's, and they went to battle over the name. But the Ray's, this Ray's was dealing, uh, was literally dealing heroin for nine years there. And uh, they made great pizza. Everybody here has probably been to Ray's one time or another. But this, you know, I know everybody remembers when this was going on. Okay, let's. I am way, way behind. I'm going to read some of these comments, people, to catch up. FES, that video with the falling money was magnificent. Tommy Stiggs, not notice how troll Octavia doesn't show her face. Uh, don't open her emails, Tommy. They are rigged. Octavia, Octavia has become a, a huge troll, you know, and that's the thing. People here started off, they weren't trolls. They became trolls. And if you remember Octavia, when she started off, she was just a regular person that went into these chat rooms, used to talk and everything. And then all of a sudden she started siding with you know who, and now she goes around trolling people continuously. Chicago Muscle, he's another guy. He's become a troll because he got his little feelings hurt. And so what does he do? He makes shows now about people, attacking people. That's what he does. Lee, will you uh, be ahead of FBS by St. Patty's Day? Keep up. No, well, listen, I'm not sure what's going to happen. You know, when you talk, when you when you talk about going ahead of at people, you don't know whether it's going to happen. You just never know. Something bad can happen. You could say the wrong thing and then your show could plummet. 
or you can keep on doing well. You just never know. Joey Electric, I think a troll account of muscles messing with him. I wouldn't be surprised, you know. Muscles acting like someone's little bitch. So, you know, we know who he's acting for. So someone told me that Tony has a new channel. Um, I'm not sure why he shut his channel down. But from what I understand, Tony did shoot, shut down his own channel. Uh, and he opened up another channel. Why, I don't know. I guess the only person that can answer that is Tony. If anybody has any reason, uh, any ideas about that, you know, let us know. But from what I understand, uh, he shut down his own channel and started another channel. And Chicago Muscle's going around telling people it was because of him that Tony shut down his channel. No, it wasn't Chicago. I think you're giving yourself, you know, you and those uh, 80 people that follow you, you're giving yourself way too much credit. Joey B was one of the smartest bosses. Yeah, Joe, he was. I mean, just look what he did with the cheese. I mean, he cornered the market. I mean, you couldn't make a good pizza without giving uh, money going into Joe Bonanno's pocket. Well, I don't know about that, but, you know, Joe, uh, he's another guy. He, he, you know, he's like uh, the guy that he follows. He like He'll tell you how smart he is. And he'll continue telling you how smart he is. And he never shuts up about it. So we're talking about cheese today. Yay, is awesome. Okay. Uh, no Grant tonight. I don't know where Grant is today. Grant is usually here. Hey, Neutral Drop, uh, I'm going to give you my email. If you can get a hold of me, I would appreciate it. Um, I'm putting it in right now. I've been trying to get a hold of you, but I don't know how to do it. So if you could send me an email, I'm going to drop you an email right now. just drop that email for you neutral drop so if you can take a look at that and uh send me your email i'd like to talk to you about a couple things the dark mario gramercy park and we oh is that the name of the new channel the dark night of gramercy park new york city tony's new channel well let's see how quick tony can build his new channel up Unemployed mob tube, FBS, the ink, okay. Never put pineapple on pizza. That's a liberal. <laughs> you know, it's funny you said that because when I had a pizza place, uh, one of my waitresses, she cooked for me too. She used to love pineapple, pineapple pizza and would always put it on special. And I used to say to her the same thing. You put pineapple on your pizza, it's not really a pizza. It's like a dessert. I mean, that's how I always considered pineapple pizza. Hey, Lee, did you have a picture of the wrong gangster on your... No, absolutely not. All you got to do is read the description of the show. But they don't. people don't want to do that. Just go read the description of the show. That will answer your question. Or I, I, got, a, I got a better idea, Bootlip. Watch the show. Which you don't. You just listen to your master, and then you go out insulting people. Just got away from the wrong bunch. Okay. Thank you, New, uh, Neutral Drop. I appreciate that. Hey, what's up, Lee? Good content. Thank you. I appreciate that. We're trying to put up good content. Yes. <laughs> Johnny Mac is an... The guy is... Let's, let's face it. I mean, one minute he's fighting with the Tony. And him and Tony went at it real bad. I mean, they went at it so bad. They called each other names. They talked about their families. And the next thing you know, they're friends. You know, when I took Tony, when Tony and I became friends, we did a couple shows together. Then Tony started talking about me and wouldn't shut up. And I would call him up and say, Tony, why are you talking about me on your show? We were just talking like friends, and now you're talking about me on your show. And he would tell me I'm doing it for, you know, to get views and stuff. So I said, okay, the first couple of times. But then he got really bad. He started talking about my brother. 
So once he started doing that, I just stopped talking to him. And I've never talked to him since then. There's certain people that I can forgive. I'll give you an example. Uh, I was going at it pretty hot with um, Mob Talk Radio. Um, and so the other day he gave me a call and we talked. And it turned out that a lot of shit is being, being done behind the scenes here by people we don't even know. And what they're doing is they're, they'll get, they'll contact people and say that this person said this, this person says that. And it's all lies, people. They just want to cause friction, trouble. So to be fair to mob talk, he hit me hard. And I tried not to go at him until, well, I was just about ready to go at him when we talked. And then he, to be fair, he took down the three videos. He took them down and we made a deal with each other, not to talk about each other, leave each other out of our mouth. He's honored his, he's honored what he said. I, I'll honor what I say. And here's why. I've never had any issues with him before. We always got along good. He's not like FBS. FBS is just an evil dude. You know, there's no way that I would ever make up with FBS. Never. You know, a guy that puts his his wife on like the way he does and uses her to attack people the way he does, he's just not a very good human being. And uh, and the shit they'll tell you and the shit they'll make up, like I weigh four hundred pounds. You know, that's one of the things. I uh, I'm uh, I'm addicted to pain pills. That's another thing. I don't have a car. That's a see lie after lie after lie. But if you say lies long enough, people start believing that. And that's what they do. But that's what he does. You know, he cannot have a show where he's not attacking somebody. He doesn't do shows anymore. His reputation is so bad that he can't even advertise that he's having somebody on his show. He has to wait until the very day for you to know who's on his show. He like he had a he had a good actor, his last person that was on his show, a good actor. He should have been advertising him for a week. He never even said he was coming on until the very end. That's not the way you run these shows. That's not the way you do your shows. You know, I got Gianni Russo coming on. And I'm gonna advertise the hell out of it starting next week. And for people that don't know who Gianni Russo is, well, a lot of you go to Vlad TV, you'll know who he is. But he's also, he was in The Godfather. Uh, he played the guy that uh, was married to Talia Shire, and he was beating her up, and he set Sonny up, and Sonny was killed. I mean, that's a very famous acting part. He, he was in a lot of other movies. But then he said a lot of things that people don't believe. But, you know, I emailed him. We were talking. And then we had a nice conversation, and he said he would love to come on the show. So he'll be on the show within the next week to 10 days. Right now, we're working on a date. He's waiting. There's a remake coming out, uh, a remix of videotapes of coming out of The Godfathers, and he's going to have more parts in The Godfather that they cut out, and he's waiting for that to come out, and he wants to talk about that. So Gianni Russo will be here, and it'll be in about a week to 10 days. Okay, um, Irish Shane, Lee, can you do a show on Donable Don's Carl Gambino sometime? Yeah, I, sure I can, without a doubt. And I was doing a show, Irish Shane, the other day on Radican. Well, you know who he is. And uh, he's a fascinating character because of all the, all the people that have been dying in that Irish war. Um, I mean, they had like 12 people die within a few months and see, in Ireland, they got guns, but a lot of the deaths in Ireland in these wars, they're stabbed to death. Because you don't get guns as easy in, the, in Ireland as you get here. So when they put a contract out to kill you in Ireland, a lot of times it's with a knife or a bomb. Bill Jordan, they inflated the price on everything to make money in their rackets. Yes, they did, Bill Jordan. And that's pizza is the perfect example of it. There's nothing sweet about the mafia when it comes to drive. They drive up the price of everything. And they're not thinking about the people. They're not Robin Hood. They like with garbage companies. 
look how they jack the prices up of garbage pickups. They control the industry. To this day, they still control a lot of the garbage industry. I mean, people, they, they still are in control of it. John O'Reilly, isn't it the most major fast food franchise companies work? You have to buy napkins, et cetera, from corporate at high prices. Yes. Yes. You know, uh, I'll give you an example. If you own a McDonald's, you got to buy their, their cups for soda. And you and they don't want customers to throw, the, like if, say you put soda in the cup and then something happens to the cup and you throw it away. That's a bad thing when you're throwing it away because it affects their inventory. They don't, when they do inventory in that cup, they say the soda is $1.90. That's what they, that, car, that cup's worth $1.90, not the five cents that you're paying for it, for part of the inventory. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's all a scam, but it's not as bad as the mafia was. You got to remember the money that they were charging. When you were getting a bag of flour from the mafia and you were forced to buy from their company, you were paying twice as much for that bag of flour as if you say you went to Cisco and got it. It would be half the price. But Cisco didn't carry the good cheese to put on your pizza. So the mob was much worse than these corporations. Johnny Mac is one of the crew, uh, corniest dudes I've ever seen in YouTube, his fake wise. So what do you guys think of Johnny Mac's eyebrows? Do you think you ever you guys ever see the rock the way you put the eyebrow up? Johnny Mac can keep his eyebrow up. Is that like a gift? Does he exercise his forehead? How does he get that eyebrow to stay up like that? And I mean the eyebrow literally shoots across his head. It, it, he could literally take that eyebrow and touch touch his hairline. Okay, let's see. Captain Johnny Mac. Johnny Max is all of a sudden Johnny Max popular in here. <laughs> Adore Pizza Queens. Hey, neutral drop. Uh, I used to live in Dit by Ditmar's Boulevard. There's some good pizza places down there. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Ditmar's Boulevard, but that's in the story of Queens and uh, great Greek food and some really good pizza. The Greeks can make good pizza just like the Italians. Give me one second, sorry. Okay. Sputo cheese denied right to buy prime farmland in upstate New York because of banana ties. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Scott Strangler, that's a very good point. And that's what they did. You know, I could tell you guys a quick story. I uh, used to work for a place called Store 24, and I had a company come in, and I decided that I was going to get get beer from them. And so the company I was getting beer with from was connected. So they were charging me a higher price. So this company came in and offered me a lower price. And so I, I said, okay. Then I called the other beer company and told them I'm not going to get beer from the connected company. And then that morning, the following day, the guy that was going to bring me the beer called me up and said, I can't deliver you the beer. And I said, why? They go, because they called me to, They called me early in the morning and told me they were going to kill me if I bring the beer into your parking lot. That's the mafia. That's how they control stuff. So they were controlling the beer. They were controlling beer and cigarettes. You know, by cigarettes, here's how they were controlling the cigarettes. They had, there's a stamp that you put on cigarettes, the New York stamp. Uh, there were a few people that had that stamp illegally. So what they would do is they would go down to these reservations in New York, upstate New York on the borderline of Canada, and buy a bunch of cigarettes from the reservations. Believe me, I know all about this. And then they would bring them back to New York and use the New York stamp then go to the bodega and sell these cigarettes to the, to the bodegas at a very cheap price. That's how they were pushing these cigarettes. So they were in on everything, just about. Uh, Frank Drevin, uh, $10. Thank you. I appreciate that. Super sticker. That's very nice of you. 
Okay. Let's see. Mob Rats 1. A lot of people underestimate Joe Bonanno. He was one of the smartest guys in the mob. People don't realize how powerful he was up until his death. Yeah, I mean, he built the Bonanno family. And when he died, the other guys took the Bonanno family down. And in the end, the Bonanno family had like the most snitches, most rats. Everybody was flipping. When your boss flips, you're in trouble. Uh, don't get me wrong. There's a couple of Bonanno guys like uh, uh, like Ronnie G that took his uh, that's still in prison. Uh, Vinny Asaro, he got out of prison. He never snitched, but there was a lot of snitching that brought down that family. Why? Because they were dealing with drugs. They were also open to upscale branch in Dumbo section of Brooklyn. Joe Bonanno was a rat. He wrote a book government used to prosecute people uh maximilian i'm not i'm not familiar with that but that's very interesting stuff you know a lot of people have become snitches because they said stuff and a lot of people were forced out of the mob for doing that um and that like, i'm going to drop the invite in here one more time if anybody wants to come in you're welcome here's the invite people feel free to come in if you want to come in I think Chicago's a nice guy. He's funny and he's very clever. I'm sure Chicago's a nice guy, but here's the problem. He's taken up with he's taken up with a mean guy. You know, he's in this guy's chat room. He's all up his ass. And now he's attacking people. And one thing Chicago will learn. That dude will eventually turn on you. He turns on every one of the people, whether it's uh Joe, Vinny, Tom. Me, you can go on and on. There's nobody that he's ever stayed faithful to. Uh, maybe Gunsmoke, but if you think Gunsmoke's like the dumb blonde, Gun, he's not exactly that smart at all. I really hope FBS would do this. Well, uh, best show this winter. It's wartime. James Doherty, if you're thinking about him having the best show, you're okay. I heard about the story. It's a good one. I understand banning a screaming weirdo, but one of the reasons Lee is so successful is because he doesn't block everyone, unlike these other. And that's the truth. I try not to. The only time we should block people in here is when they get out of hand. When that other guy was coming in and he kept writing stuff, he was using racial terms. And he was purposely doing that because the algorithm. YouTube will pick up the algorithm and they try to get your channel shut down by using saying that you're using racist comments. You'll have one person come in, use the racial comments, and then you'll have another person file a complaint against the channel. You got a lot of low lives out there, people. That's how they do things. This sounds it. Greek meatball so, uh, soap wars of the 70s. Vicious. Look into it. You know what? I will look into that. But <laughs> it sounds kind of silly. RJ Kligs, I can't see you. I don't know you. I can't let you in here. Maximilian, you're way off. Joe was far from a rat. He was one of the most respected bosses till his death. Okay, mob rats. You got a great point there. Uh you know, I can't really answer that question because I never really heard that uh, Joe Bonanno was a rat until it was just printed. But it's easy for people to call. People love calling people rats. I mean, that's the key word. You know, when you're in here, he's a rat. This one's a rat. People love calling people rats. And usually the people calling people rats are rats. Louis Barbetta, owner of Spumoni Gardens, was carrying 1,540 cash when he was murdered. Yeah, but they didn't find, but didn't they, uh, John O'Reilly? Yes, he did have that money, but it wasn't taken, was it? I think that they found the money after he was murdered. Now, if you can answer me back on that, I'd like to know that. But that is, you know, you're absolutely right. He did have money on him when he went home. 
And the guy that murdered him, his last name was Hernandez or Rodriguez, one of those. And there's video of him waiting behind a tree, watching him going into the house. So they know that, you know, they caught the guy that, that killed him. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But I think that the murder, you know, when he killed him, he got nervous and ran. I'm not too sure. Billy. Hey, Lee, what's up, man? Welcome today. How you doing? I'm good. Lee, here. Yeah. You want to see Sheep's Head Bay High School, Lee? Yes. Oh, man. Let me see. I thought... Uh, I'm good, man. I know Sheep's Head High School. I was right around the corner from it. Ah, oh, man. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. You're showing a prescription right there. <laughs> yeah, that's my Quailu, uh prescription from the 70s. Don't tell nobody, man. <laughs> yeah. They'll turn ah, into a oh, wait. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Look. You see? Oh. <laughs> She's in high school. What's the you temperature know? today? Ah, it's fucking cold, bro. It's cold. It got cold. Yeah, usually that court will be filled up. It was not at, uh, what you call it? Yeah, this is the basketball court. There goes my building right there. The fucking Russians. The Russians invaded. I'm in fucking, feels like I'm in prison. Do they bother you at all? Nah, they don't fuck with me. I don't, you know? Well, the Russians... They uh they might not nah, they mind their own business. Some of them are right. Let me just say there's a you know there's a couple of hot broads in my building, you know. Um but uh nothing. Well we, we lost Billy. Let's see if he comes back. I'll drop the invite if anybody else wants to jump in. Tony, pizza's big business, Tommy Stiggs. You want to come in and talk about it? Come in and talk about it. Okay, let's take somewhere it makes uh, easier to get high. And it, okay, I don't. Don't worry, it makes uh, easier to get. High. What the hell are you doing here? What? What the hell are you doing here? You didn't fucking call me earlier and beg me to come on your show. <laughs> oh, I beg you. I was like, please, Joe, please. You didn't beg me to come on your show. <laughs> Hey, you got you got some sound going on in there, Joe. So I got. I'm sorry. Yep. I know you want to hear yourself. I hate myself. Everybody wants to hear my. I want to hear my sexy voice. voice. Yes, they all want to hear it. So, Joe, are you a big pizza guy? Yeah, I like pizza. So, did you know anything about all the mob being involved in all these pizza places and stuff? Yeah, the fucking Albanian mob. That's who owns all these pizzerias, the Albanians. Well, I'm talking back when the Italians owned them. Yeah, that was, you know. I so mean, what do you think about Joe the Banana pizza Rose? connection? That should say it all right there. Well, how about Joe Banana controlling the cheese? The, basically controlling the cheese so he would control the price of what people pe uh, got on pizza. Listen, those guys controlled everything. They did. The cheese, the gravy, the oregano, the fucking water, whatever. They they did. You know, yeah. Smart mothers, boy. I'll tell you. They knew where the money was at. The kid, uh, Sal Profaci, Joe Profaci's son, he actually was really big into that business in Jersey and about, uh, Pennsylvania. How so, about Joe's Pizzeria? I mean, how come you haven't had a pizza place, Joe? You could have taken that 401k. And dipped it into a pizza joint. I'd be six hundred fucking pounds if I lived it. If I worked in a pizzeria or owned a pizzeria. Hey, I used to. I used to smoke weed, and work at pizza places. That's like smoke the worst weed. combination. And what happens when someone called and ordered a pizza, and they disrespected you? Did you fucking spit in the food? Like, what'd you do to the people's food? I did that to my boss's wife one time. <sighs> That. I, that's in the, I was in a butcher shop. And let me, his wife was a real bitch. She she used to come in and start being real nasty. And one day she told us to ground up five pounds of meat. And there were like six guys working in the butcher shop. We ground it up and stuff. And we all came in there and fucking goobed right in it. We mixed it up and we sent it home to her. And the next day she came in, we would say to her, hey, how was the chopped meat last night? She goes, oh, it was really good and thank you. And every one of us knew we goobed in it. <sighs> See, it's that easy. Don't worry never, about that shit. Never insult the person making your food. I know. I did that once, and I'm fucking telling you, it was in a Sonic. 
I'll never forget. I don't ask why I was at a Sonic. But I fucking got into an argument with the fucking guy. I was sick after that. Like with fucking, you know, uh, food poisoning. The cocksucker must have fucking uh, not cooked hey, my hey, fucking watch burger. Your mouth. Right. Watch your mouth. Sorry. This ain't the Italian. This well, the Italian. let's face it, mister. I should do what you did to me. I'll get your video taken down. I never did that to you. Oh, you yes, you did. I never had a video of yours taken down ever. Oh, yes, you did. Well, what the hell is I don't remember that. It was video number two. You made that stupid comment about fucking oh, oh. wall shriveling up. Oh, go oh, blow. Come on, blow. Oh, 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 yeah. Now you know. Oh, ball shriveling up. Uh, from today's Ohio. show is sponsored by. <laughs> Lee Cole hey, Brown. Hey Billy T, do you know uh do, do you do you know Joe Joe Barrow? Uh yeah, yeah, I seen him around. I seen him oh, around. So, okay. How are you, man? I'm all right. So he's yeah. he, he, well he's not in Brooklyn though, but Joe lives out in he's fancy now. He lives out in Staten Island. Oh yeah. it's the hillbilly town where I live. Yeah, he's he, not nothing here. Yeah, yeah. Callie G, how you doing? Callie. It's cold out today, huh? Fuck. Yeah, it's fucking cold, bro. It was beautiful. I went out this morning, like 4.30. My dog woke me up to walk him. I went out with shorts, man. It's like... <laughs> yeah, I was out on a winter jacket, too. man. It was I had like, to go to uh, the doctor. Yeah, man. It was, uh, it was like 60 degrees. Now it's like... feels like it's like 30. Yeah. Hey, Joe, I what went to the doctor, doctor and the doctor was like, all right, now... Uh, drop your pants. He fucking started grabbing my, you know what, my balls and shit playing around. I'm like, oh my God. Did you get his phone number? No, um, I, he gave me his email address and I got to get his information through that. Yeah, I remember when you were a kid in high school and they had to do those Yeah. Things. Nobody wanted to ever go to them. Well, yeah, I know. That day and stuff. Because, you know, you were afraid that it'd be a nurse grabbing your balls and you get a, you know. It, yeah, but that's never the case. Yeah, it's some doctor. <laughs> oh, it would have been nice if it was a nurse. Oh, I'm trying to get Callie. Callie G, can you hear me? Callie. Hey, what's up, guys? Can you hear me? I can hear you now, Callie. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, guys. I have a weird echo I'm trying to take care of real fast. So if, if you lose my sound for a second. So when's the last time you had some doctors grab your balls? Yeah, I'm, man, I'm 45, so the doctor's about to grab my balls this year. <laughs> yeah. I'm 46, and he grabbed them. Oh. So you come, it's right around the fucking – it's right around the corner. Hey, listen, you want to know who wants to come in right now, guys? The best-looking oh. guy on – all of these platforms. With the guy uh, that wears the fake here. name. Tommy Stiggs. I oh, knew God. it. Okay. <laughs> He's out of his mind. Oh, my God. This Where's Tommy the biceps mean. Stiggs at? Can you hear you me, just guys? Follow me around? Yeah. Follow you around. Why don't we just start calling me? We're going to I'm start calling around you. Church. You're doing everything. We'll start calling you Jock from now on. I notice every time I see Tommy now, Tommy, you get more and more like your glasses are getting darker. You're getting more mysterious. Getting that, <laughs> getting that YouTube money. I, I was, was going to say, it looks like Tommy's about to put in some fucking work or something. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so, Tommy, they gave you the contract. You know who you're looking for right now? <laughs> I'm good. I'm on the hunt. Hanging around North yeah. Jersey on the hunt. I'm in good shape and all that and whatever. I carry guns, but I wouldn't mess with Tommy Stiggs. He don't look like he fucks around. I'm dead serious. Damn. Tommy Stiggs is fucking from Belleville. You know what they have over in Belleville? What? I don't know. Probably a lot of dead bodies. No. What? <laughs> they have a bunch of Wawa's over there in fucking no, Belleville. Wawa. They have one Wawa. There's both oh, you have one? Belleville guys. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Yeah, Belleville was like Belleville is like the Bensonhurst of fucking uh, Jersey. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, yeah that's correct. The, call me stupid, but what the hell is a Wawa? It's a gas uh, station. Gas station. Soup you know, mini 
want. Hey, don't feel so badly. I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about either. <laughs> it's, a Jer- it's a South Jersey thing, down the shore area. But they have a couple up in North Jersey. But that's a that's a short like down the shore. <coughs> nice. That's Wawas. Hey, I've been educated just a little more. Thanks. They actually have good sandwiches there, believe it or not. Hey, Joe, a uh, quick question. Didn't you say that uh, Big Lou lives out like in Tracy? Isn't that your boy? Well, yeah. Why? What happened? You know, I, I think I seen him in traffic when I was going through Tracy. It's the town over from where I'm at. I just wasn't sure. Oh, pretty- yeah. It, I think so. I'm not 100% sure exactly where in Tracy, but yeah, in that area. Is that by Stockton? Yeah, it is. It's it, it, Tracy and Stockton are, are neighboring cities. Yep. So you, should have, you should have said what up to him. Yeah, I mean, I ain't got no problem with him. He, he's your friend, so he's got to be a cool guy. I just, uh, I he was in traffic next to me at the light, but it just shows what a small world it is, you know. Yeah, let me tell you, I know. Hey, talking about small what world. Pizza? Talking about small world, I will be going out to New York in May. Nice. Yeah, uh, you got to go to you got to go to Jersey to get pizza though, if you want good pizza. Nah. Did yeah. somebody yeah. die out there? That's why you're ready to go out there. What happened, Lee? <laughs> no, actually, no, actually, uh, my family plots out in Nassau Knowles. Uh, by uh, no, I was meaning Island. somebody you owed money to. Uh, no, I, I'm going. Out, I'm going out there to see my family plot. <laughs> you know, I'm just I have, wow, I have two brothers and sisters who died. I haven't seen their yeah. father in a long time. It, you know what? When you get to a certain age, it could be the last time that you're going to see a family plot. Yeah, we have a family plot out here in Colma, California. It's actually the tombstone capital of the world. There's more dead people than alive people in Colma. Well, Cremation. 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 Cremating me. That's it. How do you know they're cremating you? Maybe they'll. No, out. I want to be cremated. I want to be cremated. Did you put it in your will? Everybody knows they'll be haunted for the rest of their lives if they don't do it. <laughs> I'm a I'm an organ donor, and I don't Maybe. care if they put my uh, body in the 50 yard line of Giant Stadium when I'm dead. I don't care. Uh, no. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm going in the fucking. They filing cabinet or they put you in. That's I'm not going underground. Might be you're going in the filing old. cabinet in the wall. Yeah. That's, That's what ridiculous. I'm doing. That's crazy, yeah. though. Think about it. Why is it crazy? Cabinet. What happens if you fucking cremating yourself is like you know a second death? Supposed to be an afterlife. <laughs> That's what, what I think about sometimes. Sometimes I wonder, is that like is that a, a double foul if I burn myself? Is that? Am I really going to hell? <laughs> You're not supposed to, right? Freeze out. You think I want to be underground? I don't want to be underground. Definitely. I yeah. should keep the dirt, and then it I don't want to be in a filing cabinet. So well, I'm donating my organs, so I'm probably going to be inside of a lot of people. Uh, yeah, guys. So that's kind of weird, but whatever. I'm yeah, gonna- I don't know if my organs are going to be worth anything, so I don't know if I'm going to go that route. <laughs> Yeah, my little, my cask is going to be on, like a to... basketball shoe, a Jordan. The Jordan 11, that's going to be my uh, casket. And I'm going to be buried with all my uh, sneakers, my 401k. No, they're going to oh. be, <laughs> hey, they're gonna be fighting over your when – you, when you go, Joe, your family's going to fight over your sneaker collection. Yeah, man. Yeah, you got the nice yeah. sneaker, bro. You, you know how family is when people die. Oh, God. All of a sudden, they're just oh, in your closet stealing I, you know, all your They shit. all love you. You know, that's why when people die, they should have as little as possible. Just Isn't it great everybody. how everyone's a Boy Scout when they die and everybody loves them so much? Yeah. What happens when they're alive? They motherfucker. Exactly. You treated me like shit while I was here. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> so what you got to do is die with no money. Then nobody's going to give a shit. Well, I, think I, I think I'm close to doing that. Don't worry. Yeah. About it. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. With Joe, not as long as he has those that sneaker collection. Yeah, I'm gonna I get it. Listen, my main goal in life is to make sure that my wife is okay after I'm gone. So oh Joe, oh my god, about shoes really quick. My son and I got the same pair of shoes. They're called Nike Air Monarchs. And then mm-hmm. my son's 18 and he goes, Dad, I can't wear the shoes anymore. I said, Why can't you wear the shoes anymore? Because you so, have them. And he goes, No. He goes, look at this image. And he gets sent an image from his friends, and the shoe is the ultimate dad shoe. Mm-hmm. And it's Pete Carroll wears them. My son said, I can't wear them. It's it's a dad shoe. Bro, you gotta hit him off with some J's or something like that. I'm about to throw him in some some old chucks and show him what real dad yeah, shoes are. Give him some give Chuck him some Taylor fucking, Converse. So or good. give him some sketchers or something and tell him to go for nah, a while. Man. Or or I'm gonna read something real quick. Alan Blue says, Tony will be reported constantly to Google and YouTube except for rapists. Rapists. For racists. Okay, for racists and harassment. I can't see that. 
He did not take down his own channel. I don't know whether he Is it me that's breaking up? Yeah. To my service or yours? Yeah, they have, they have one fucking rinky-dink fucking cell phone tower in Belleville. Of course it's you. Come on, Tommy. You're rolling around with a 3G phone from 2012. Exactly. You're expecting to get Obama's phone. <laughs> Obama Samsung phone. S20, whatever it is. Now it's a Biden phone. <laughs> yeah, it is a Biden phone. Yeah, they, they have the little tents yeah, that they the set Biden up on phones, the corner. <laughs> the Biden phones are big. They're like jitterbugs. And uh, <laughs> they move real slow. Wow, hey, this uh, this fake JC guy is pretty hilarious. I, if I had a wrench, I'd probably get rid of him. Yeah, I'm in Belgium. Why, why do you want to get rid of him? I don't know because he's faking like he's my friend JC. He's being disingenuous and he's saying things oh, about my other friend Lee Cole. Don't, he's don't kind get of a rid jerk. Of him for that. He has to why not? Why can't we play FBS Day and just no, have some fun? No, no, no. <laughs> We're not going to get rid of him that easy. Uh, Let's Lee get rid of anyone who's smarter than us right now. You'll have fucking three people watching this. Yeah, you know. <laughs> exactly. I you go know, first. You know, I, we got 100 people watching right now, and I think to myself, just 100 people, then I keep forgetting it's midday on a Friday. Yeah, okay. you're, you're, you're claiming this time slot, man. You're, you're actually doing really well. Most people are, have things called jobs that they're it's at. It's midday so. on a Friday. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's midday on a Friday. Paycheck. Remember, I'm the working to- man's a sucker. Yeah, hey, I, know. Anybody, I gotta go to wait work. a minute. Does anybody here have a job? <laughs> I have two jobs. I got jobs. You know, right I have now, jobs. right now. I'm heading from Belleville into jobs. North Newark. And what are you gonna do over there? I gotta do a couple things. You're gonna kill somebody? No, <laughs> <I> never. <laughs> so he's okay. just setting up the crash you, you car right now. Where you're gonna drive up on somebody, you know? <laughs> I gotta make a couple of stops, this, that, the other thing. <laughs> That's what but, uh, Fridays now, huh? I get up. Stops. Right. <laughs> the, the company I work for, they give us a half a day every Friday, so it's pretty awesome. Do you, oh, is nice. your trunk empty? They, they, yeah. they let it up. Hey, Tommy, is your trunk empty? Trunk is empty. Uh, can, you know, fit, <laughs> can you fit a guy that's like six foot, six one, 200 yeah. pounds in your yeah. trunk? That's a big trunk I have, yes. Nice. Well, that's why I got. That's why I got a three hundred. You ever see the three hundred trunks? I was gonna that's say, good. Lee, you can put quite a few people in that trunk. <laughs> yeah, I got it. You know, just in case someone wants to get rid of me, they could throw me in the trunk. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, heading. Into, I'm heading into the pizza capital of North Jersey, Belleville. Uh oh, that's where all the pizza is. Hey, Free new guys. beginnings. I, I wanted to give a shout out to New Beginnings because. I've usually worked on a lot of pages with her as far as like messing with people. New beginnings, you're awesome. I just <laughs> wanted to let you know that. I, it's good to see you around. Oh, come on. Is Everybody that a little know. inside joke? No, I love new beginnings. No, it, oh, look, you're gonna I start, don't. You're going to start shit because I know you love them, love her, but so does Joe. Joe, how do I'll, you know? Joe, I will let you, um, I'll, I'll arm wrestle you for it, Joe. I'm in, listen, I'm friends. With Ralph, okay. I don't know who NB is. I know Ralph. I don't know either one. Just NB. Well, uh, Joe, I've never yeah. been in love. I've never been in love with a guy named Ralph. Whatever New Beginnings is, is is one of the reasons why I stopped going online a lot because New Beginnings has been doing such a great job along with you guys. You know, showing how shady certain podcasters are. So it's like, wow, you guys are all over it. So who are you talking about when you say shady podcasters? Well, I mean, if I have permission, I guess I should just say uh, Fat Bald Scallion, Fat Bald Scammer, whatever his name is, that guy. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Let's just be honest. The guy's channel's dying right now, and he's hey, saying that everybody's look. cheating that's passing him up. It's pathetic. All right. You're yes, getting bro. out of my scope right now, guys, when you get come into on. that. Scope. Don't say that. That's Tony's yeah. thinking I have no please. place to go tonight. All right, Tony. Hey, Tony, please don't whack me. I'll shut up, please. <laughs> Tony, that's you called he, him Tony. His name is fucking Tommy. Tony. You think, Tony. Yeah, he, yeah, you you think doing, every Lee? Italian name Listen. is Tony? You got when you guys have Italian guys' names now, Lee. What Italian, when, Italian names? Tommy and Tony. Let me just tell Italian you. Names. When I I go in anybody's chat, you know me, guys. I go in anybody's chat, break balls, mess around. But once it goes to that situation, I. You know what I mean? That's just my way, you know. Yeah. Well, your way is honorable. You know I, mean? I respect it. 
Just don't, yeah, just don't, just don't kill me. All right, bro. Stiggy's. I'm not gonna kill Stiggy. You know, I got I got a gun Stiggy. and I'm a pretty tough guy myself, but you you fucking worry me. And not only that, Tommy drives around with his mother when he's looking for victims. Oh my god. Yeah. Mom, my mom, mom was... put the earplugs in, mom. I gotta do something. No, my mom... mother was no joke. My mother had man, my mother was no joke with the poker games. We had him in our basement. We cut the pot. I served the sandwiches. <laughs> oh man. Nine years old. My mother in our neighborhood. <laughs> In our neighborhood, every weekend, one house had the poker games, and we moved from house to house. So my whoever was having the games cut the pot, and uh, I made money on tips serving sandwiches. Yeah. So you were like Hendry Hill. Whatever it is, I my mother cooked, and I delivered the sandwiches to the players and drinks, and they give me tips. Did, did, Jimmy, your, Burke, yeah. did Jimmy Burke come to your game? <laughs> Nine, ten years old, man, doing that shit. So, so my mother is no joke. Yeah, so my mother is. Guy no, you, Tony, who's no the joke. biggest guy you ever got at one of your games? No, I didn't have the games. at my mother's games. Who's the biggest guy she ever had at her game? I don't know. There was – so there is – the area we're from is saturated. It could be anybody. Andy Gerard, maybe? He was the big man. Bobby Cabert, I guess. Bobby Cabert. I was at all their games, you know. Because I had a social club with my uncle in uh, North Newark, so we had games. Everybody. It was just, it was, we didn't know they were big names. They were just guys from the neighborhood, you know? You didn't know until yeah. later. You're like, I, what? The I know exactly what you're talking about. I told Lee this before. I grew up around a lot of major league baseball players like Bobby yeah. Bonds, Willie <laughs> McCovey. They were friends yeah. with my dad. So I didn't see <laughs> nothing of it. And when I grew up, I was like, wait a minute. That, those yeah. were some Hall of Famers. You just don't think about it when you're a kid. No, nope. they're regular guys. So from for us, it's just normal. I don't know. It's you're just cultural, Gi I guess. I don't know. You're a, a Giants fan. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Born and raised San Francisco. So Giants. you know, you know who Ryan Murphy is, right? Um, I know a couple of Ryan Murphys. And he's I a pitcher in the. He's a pitcher in their farm system. Well, I don't know that Ryan Murphy, but that is a very common name where I'm from. No, I don't know. Wow. I'm not familiar with. Them. Yeah, man. He, his his mom is it. on here, Teresa, like and his dad. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm familiar like, with Teresa. One yeah, thing he's I like to say up. about the Giants. One thing I like to say about the Giants. The Giants are an incredible organization because they win titles with very little talent. Yep. You know, yep. they've always done that. And you got to give good them, baseball. They put together the right teams. And it, it just goes to show you don't need the best players to no. win. No, we never had superstars in the three years that we won in 2010, 2012, 2014. We had good guys, but it wasn't until we got rid of guys like Barry Bonds that we started winning, you know? Hey, can you see that? That's a wah wah right there. Okay. Were you able to see it or no? I don't know. See, Tommy, whenever I go to New York, I always drive around New Jersey. Did you, were you able to see that while I just passed or no? Yes, I did. That was. I'm going to I'm gonna turn it while I roll into North Newark if you want me to. <laughs> Newark? Go, go into a pizza place and do a pizza review for I'm us. I'm in right Newark now. right now. <laughs> passing the, I'm passing the house where Frankie Valley grew up, right here. Nice. I'll show oh, you guys. Valley. That's well, I the, wanted to give one more shout out to, to fame uh, in Jersey. BK that's, Shaolin's finest. You are look. a fucking beast. I saw you, you destroy it a certain guy. Oh my god, man. Great job. Can you BK see that? Shaolin. Can you guys see that or no? Yes. Uh, no, Gary, low, yeah, Belfast does have some mad hatters. That's for damn sure. That's low level. Uh these are low two story housing projects instead of the big ones. My grandmother lived in here, and this is where Frankie Valley grew up. Right there. Wow. Gotta watch over here. Gotta watch over here. It's kind of uh, you know, you gotta watch, man. They'll, they'll come right up to your car and bang you out. It's nuts. Hey Billy, are, are you can you guys see or no? Yes. This is well, North North. Right around now. like the fucking godfather. You need to get some fucking tinted windows. My car's blacked out, cuz blacked out. You can't have tints on Staten Island. I, I've never had anybody on this show that would want to show me New Jersey. Well, I'm in Newark right now, so I figured you'd want to see Especially Newark. Especially Newark. Yeah, That's Newark where I'm at. fucking shithole. <laughs> <laughs> this really is North is. Newark Bovo. Where I'm at. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're a product of your environment. <laughs> it's home to me, you know? 
I know how to be careful. Like you could be as careful as you want, but you could still get, you know. That's you still get listen. You got to keep your peace between your balls. You know what I mean? Don't don't keep it under the seat. My brother did that and he died for it. So yeah, man, you got to be ready over here. But I you got to watch out. a lot. You know, I got to be aware. You got to be aware of your surroundings. You know, you got to watch. Always have your head on a swivel and pay attention to your mirrors. I'm telling you, I've had friends get shot in their Everything. car. I always, when I'm in the car, I keep it on my hip or I just put it um, on the seat and put a, a jacket over it because if you can't get it when you need it, it's useless. The car is the worst place to be. It is. It's like it's a target. It's a perfect target. I yeah. always leave myself in out. I always leave myself in out. A car's length. Exactly, you know? Tommy. Hey, Tommy, I swear to God, I was a cab driver for years. I always leave two car lengths. In front of you, no matter what, you got to be able to gun it and get out, floor it, and crank that wheel. Get the fuck out of there. You better believe it, bro. You know, you what's better up. believe it. You've been around, you know what's up. Yeah, this is a little bit of a rough area right now, but hey, you know, out in Stockton, in the area where I live, there is a lot, a lot of um, a lot of stupid violence, you know, a lot of gang violence and just general violence. It's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. We got it right here. It's not good right now. Things are out of control, man. Mid to Midday, you get jacked over here, you know. Yeah. This was all Italian back in the day. All this they is hate, like little Italy over here. They hate turd bird, real quick. I was never in a gang. I just knew a lot of people and grew up around them. So, out here, I guess you could call me a friend in the of, of them. No, I'm not in the it. mafia. <laughs> never, no, I was never in the mafia. So, yeah. I, I want to. I can tell My, you a quick pizzeria story from when when uh. When I was involved in, you know, doing something, right? Can you hear me or no? Yeah, I can hear you. Shoot away. Tell us a story. Okay. So when, back in the day when I was involved in, you know, all the shenanigans I was involved in, I was approached to make a score on a pizzeria because pizzerias are all cash, obviously, and somebody has to bring the money to the bank the next day, right? Because Friday night you're slinging 500 pies in North Jersey. You know? So, uh, right. Stigs, you score, you're breaking up Keep going. Yep. I can't hear him. I can't hear you. Can't hear me, guys. Keep, you're in, yeah. you're, in, you're no. in Newark. Yeah. I'm in Newark, yeah. Okay. Can you hear me or no? Yeah, I can. So, did you hear me about the five 500 pies on a Friday night? You know, there's a lot of cash going yeah. to the bank the next day, right? So oh, they, yeah. they said, okay, now these are people that I knew, dear friends of mine that were owning these pizzerias. And they said, you got to set this up where you're going to go make the scores. You're going to grab whoever's going to the bank with the cash on Saturday morning. What's going on here now? Now I'm going to be stuck in double Lent traffic in Newark. What the fuck is going on here? I hope we're not about to watch Tommy Stiggs get carjacked. What we, look, look at what I'm doing. I'm driving down the wrong side of the road. You're on demise. I'm on the wrong side of the road right now. You see that? Yeah, you better Newark. watch it. A car pulls out, you'll be in fucking trouble. Newark police. It's funny. Turd bird is hilarious. It's well, when the a, police a see you, they snag you hilarious. right through, right? <laughs> yeah, they don't bother me here. Oh, Lord. Uh, the Newark look police at the don't chat. bother nobody. <laughs> so, don't worry. Alana, don't worry about it. Jeff is just jealous. That's all. So so they said, you got to set up this scores. We need you to get to the person, whoever's delivering the money on Saturday mornings. And these the people that own the pizzerias in my area, I know them. I grew up with these guys. I, you know, I know I do what I do, and I know I'm supposed to follow whatever I'm told to do. But I said, you know, that ain't fucking happening. I, I'm not getting involved in this scores. I'm not doing this shit. Get the fuck out of here. I'm a bookmaker. I'm not I'm not jacking somebody that I know's aunt or mother that is delivering their cash to the banks after they, they work always hard. do it. They start with little tasks and they try to get you to do yeah, more well, and more, man. That wow. wasn't happening. Yeah, so I refused. Right. I refused it. But the point guy. is the point is when you say crime is around pizza <laughs> in all kinds of ways, it is, yes. It's crazy. But okay, I refuse that. Okay, guys, we're gonna read Billy T here. Leo look at this. Goes, Hold on. Look at this no, beautiful no, no, stadium. Me, look, look. Look at that beautiful stadium. I know. I'm going to have to mute you for a second. Let me speak on my show, please. Can beautiful you see that? Stadium. Lee knows all about cigarettes. What the scams. fuck? What the shit is that? That's Newark City School Stadium. Okay. It's guys. like a, 
It's like you're putting me on mute, Lee. Yeah, let me talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> a cigarette scam because he used to buy two packs at a time on a reservation so he can avoid two fifty in, in New York tax. Lee is a big time. Billy T, that's a good one. I got to give you that one. Yeah, let me that's read it. Nice. I'm trying. I'm trying to read up some some of these people right here. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. No problem. Okay. Before Frankie Copper flipped, they they never had a rat. He couldn't do the time. Joey Electric. the fucking boss. Johnny Mac was commenting on, uh, well, let's not talk about Johnny Mac, okay? Joe Banana's daughter's wedding was the inspiration for the Godfather wedding scene. Did you guys know that? I actually heard about yes. that. I don't know. Heard yes. it's true. Yes. Don Vito was a psycho, but you got to give Tommy Crotty credit for not ratting. Yep. So you guys don't think Tommy Crotty ever to ratted? Uh, hold on. You don't get extra credit. You don't get extra credit for not Who's ratting. Don Vito? You're not to do. Yeah, exactly. You're you not supposed to rat. Exactly. It's like uh, there's, exactly. There's no extra credit for not ratting. What the fuck is that? You got to be nuts. It's like extra credit for you know, making attendance to... at high school or something. What is that? <laughs> you're supposed crazy. to be there. You there's no extra asshole. credit. It's natural. <laughs> Hey, teacher, let me get extra credit for being Stakes. here. <laughs> Yo, Stakes. you you oh. said you're cool with everyone on YouTube, right? I don't know. I think I am. <laughs> yeah, well, half of them are fucking rats, and you always talk about how you fucking can't stand rats, but you love Hold everyone on. on YouTube. Not those guys. Hey, I won't talk. Talk. Let's get yeah. into this. That's a good one. Hold on. I want to show you the beautiful stadium they gave to the Newark City Schools. Check it out. Why are you avoiding the question, Tommy? Damn, he well, did some a move there. I'm not avoiding. I never avoid anything. <laughs> oh yeah, he needs nothing. time to think about it. He needs the time about you to think what he's gonna say. Joe, you hit him with a liver shot, man. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing to avoid. Why would I avoid anything ever? Well, come back with a jab. <laughs> I'm good. What's going on? Speak to me. What's your question? Joe, repeat that question, please. I forgot. Oh, I'm friends with everybody on the YouTubes? Mm-hmm. He's saying that you're friends with everybody, and some of them are rats. Okay. So but rats I know you're people. very anti-rat. Wait, what kind of rat? Rat, you mean? Uh, what rat am I friend with? On uh, wait, uh, uh, an organized crime rat? Is there what difference does it make? Joe, well, I don't know what you mean. Like uh, rats between content creators, which is another fucking ridiculous situation, or rats that put somebody in jail. Rats that put somebody in jail. I'm no good with them. How could you say? I watch Sammy the Bull. I want 10 minutes with him. I don't want money. I don't want anything. I want my questions. Jimmy Colangelo, same thing. I would love 10 minutes. My questions. Do you go on I, I'm not. No. You said you're good with everyone. So I They're said, not, okay, I know you hate rats. And if you do. No, I mean you guys. Like, you know, the content creators. You not not The non-rat content creators, I'm cool with everybody. I'll jump okay. in and out. That was clear. That was clear. They give Tommy a break, guys. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you know how I feel about the. You know, you know how I feel. Yeah. I look, know. Look at her. Look at her well, carrying her laundry on her head. Well, it could be worse. You could be a fifty-year-old man wearing a hat sideways. I'm fifty-two, and I wear my hat backwards sometimes. And right? you could be a fifty-year-old guy that gets thirty-seven-year-old chicks. Hey, baby. <laughs> Because you wear your hat sideways. Right? I don't know what you're talking about, Joe. I'm married. I don't. I don't get pussy. Baby, I get vagina. That's yeah. I'm, I'm married too. Straight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and Joe got the gloves on too, with the fingers coming through and all that. Shit. <laughs> all right. Let me tell you, you, <laughs> you wear a wedding you. ring. I gotta get out of here, you man. Get more fucking women, dude. That is. Yeah, so oh true. yeah, you better believe it. That's a fact, Joe. Yeah, my you wedding ring wedding got ring me on, in right? trouble early on. Do you have a wedding ring on right now? Me, of yeah. course. I am. I'm Italian. I wear a lot of jewelry. Of course, I you need do. a wedding ring and a poodle, and you're cozy. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> a poodle. Great. Yeah, a little, little, little puppy, a Maltese, like I have. Little well, dogs are good. Joe, wait a minute. You're single, though, aren't you, uh, Tommy? Yeah. When I get custody of my puppy, it's the best thing ever. The gir girls love been, little dogs. Tommy, how long have you been single? Five years. So I got a lady friend. Have you dated since then? I keep company. I keep company. I got a lady friend. Okay. What's his name? Uh, <laughs> how much does she charge? What's his uh, name? <laughs> I got a Sicilian broad. ESL. She's ESL. Sicilian. Like straight up fucking 
Speaks Italian, English, is second language. It's crazy. What's her phone number? Hey, no. <laughs> That's great. Gotta watch these places. You know who acts the most single on this whole show? Who? The most married. Oh, yeah. Joe. I mean, Joe acts like he's a single man. Well, he's, yeah. he's doing now, his thing. I'm, I'm single in my own mind. Well, well Joe, he's you've been married like thing. 10 years, right? So you already had that seven oh, year itch, yeah, so you're really over it. No, I'm all, listen, I'm only married in the borough of Staten, Italy. If I go <laughs> to Brooklyn, crazy. Queens, and Manhattan. You're single. Hey, Tommy, do you have a relationship with your ex? Tommy, do you have a relationship with your ex? Joe, is that your girl behind you? We're... We're co raising <laughs> kids in a fabulous way. Uh, decent, decent. Other than when she wishes I me death, we're good. With my girl. <laughs> it's Kobe Bryant, Arturo Gotti, no, Don Mattingly. <laughs> Lee, yes. The answer is yes. We're we're cool. No, no issues. Well, that's good. How about you? Are you close no. to your ex wife, Joe? What'd you say? Are you close to your ex wife? Me? Yeah. He's married. Who's my wife. Because you, you you act like you're not married, so I'm asking you. You're close, you're close to your ex-wife. My wife would never leave me. You come on here with old and your sexy voice, your hat on sideways. Come on, Lee. Do you guys want to go get a room? What's going on here? <laughs> Lee, listen. Call me after the show. Me, we'll talk. This is what goes on around here. This is what goes. This is what goes on around here, guys. Where are you staying when you come to New York? <laughs> you staying in Staten Island or? Uh... Hey, Tommy, you're the only guy that I've ever known that would drive through Newark and actually show it. Hey, man, this is where, this is where I'm at. <laughs> I got to give you credit. You love your you, you love your state. Yeah, I love my heritage. I love my old neighborhoods. I love everything about it. When I got when I got married, I moved to the suburbs for 20 years. I fucking hated every minute of it. What as soon as like? I got divorced, I moved right back down here. Yeah, okay. You know, I miss New York City big time, but from what I hear, it's nothing like it used to be, so I can never move back. But they no. destroyed they destroyed New York and they destroyed San Francisco, where I'm from. So, so I don't I, I would looks, never yeah. They destroyed San Francisco a hundred years ago. No, it got no, honestly, Lee, it was good until about the year two thousand. It got really bad, I promise. Yeah, you. but no, wait, wait. You told me that you, you stopped. Like in uh, San Francisco, once they shut down the bathhouses. Oh, God. Here goes Lee with the bathhouses. Okay, they're not bathhouses, and they're still there. They're called the Jack Shacks. There's women behind the glass. There. How do you know there's still Because there. there's women behind the glass. You've been to them, Lee. Come on. Jack you got the little napkin dispenser in the box, and the girl, you know, you put the quarters in, and the and the thing opens up. Come on, man. The Jack Shack. No, I only, went to those, I only went to those places when I was married. Oh man, you got to go to those places when you're not married. You're a bad guy, Lee. Suck my <laughs> dick. Did I mention Suck my wife my is standing dick. right next if to I, me? When I see <laughs> you, I'm taking your well, fucking my husband right and your front tooth. That's great. My front tooth. <laughs> no, alone. not you. I'm talking to someone else. I'm talking to like five guys. Are living you? alone. Joe. Living living alone has good. Good. There's pros and cons, but it's not. It's pretty awesome when you live alone and you can do oh, what you want. I to love do. it. Oh my gosh, I love it, Tom. It's You're pretty good. I love it. It's you pretty know, good. I, you know, there's pros been, and cons, of course. There's pros and cons. Somebody, I've been living with somebody for the last thirty years, off different people, but I've always been living with somebody. This is the first time I've actually lived by myself, and I love it. Yeah, I've been by myself now for three months, and I love it. I enjoyed being single before I got married, man. It was nice. I I, I like being married. I you know you shift gears in life. You, you know, know something. You tell me you like being Callie. You tell me you like being married, but when I hear you, I hear like a cry for help. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I'm just okay. No, Lee, I'll talk like to you after the show. It, you go like this. I'm happy. And when I'm you say really I'm happy, happy over your here. voice. When you say I'm happy, your voice drags. Like, help do, do you hear the clicking noise in the background, Lee? Uh, <laughs> Joe, I'm really Joe. happy. Click, click. Yes. <laughs> Joe, is this is this area kind of like what Brooklyn is? Different areas, different. You know, different. Um, you know, you have a quiet section, you have a rough section, you have a middle of the road section, you have everything. Is that kind of like what Brooklyn is, or Staten Island, or? Do they all have that type? Like what you saw where I'm at right now? Is it? Is this you know like? Joe, Joe's on the phone. He, he. No, I'm sorry. 
We're asking you a Brooklyn question, Joe. I got a z I want a zero win on my enemigos. But Joe knows nothing about Brooklyn. He's from Staten Island. Joe, did you hear what I said? <laughs> no, I didn't. What'd you say? You see where did, I'm at right Brooklyn now. Brooklyn and Staten Island is nothing like fucking Jersey. No way. Brooklyn, nothing. It's all different. Like the neighborhoods, how they are separated. You got an Italian section over there. You got the crackheads over where I just was. And, you know. Oh, well, yeah, of course. I mean, there's, you know, black areas, white areas, yeah. you know. And then you got decent over here in this neighborhood I'm in. You know what I mean? Right. And then there's, you know, um, it's there's all areas mixed. where there's mixed, you know, but. It's all mixed, but. I got. I got. Always got along with all of them. We always, you know, we always mix together with our issues. Right. I live in you an know, area. I live in an area where if you get out of your car, even the women carry guns. Oh yeah, yeah. Texas I mean, man. Everybody has a gun here, and they're all big. They're all big. But if you get not just that they have guns in Texas, it's they they know how to use them too. You know, there's a difference oh, in just do. having oh, a gun. Yeah, Using a gun is another story. People don't. Everybody knows that. how to use a gun around here. The gun ranges are packed. I know. And I, I, I can't. I can't carry. I'm not allowed to carry. I just have an owner's permit. Yeah, but just, you know what, what Tommy? That? Here's here's my opinion on that. This is my hot button issue, real quick. You know, you have the right to defend yourself wherever you are. And those whole permit things, letting the government tell you where you can defend your life, that's my problem Hello. I have. You know, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. To be able to carry yeah, yeah. a gun. My life is valuable in my house, and my life is valuable down the street at 7-Eleven and so forth and so on. <laughs> and your laws shouldn't tell me whether I should have a gun on me because you're afraid of guns shouldn't keep me from using one. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we... You know, we're stuck somewhat. You know, you can I, defy it, and you're going to end up in a cage. And I've been in a cage and cage. Yeah, no, I feel you, and I understand you, dude. But I especially I, in New Jersey, I'll still carry. In New Jersey, I'll carry. If I had ten felonies and I was on the street, I'd still get a gun. I don't care. There's just I, I understand, and I, I and I know I feel, you. I know you can't say that, but I feel you, bro. Listen, I feel naked without it. Honestly, seriously, yeah. you saw where I just was, right? You yeah, saw where I no, just was. No, I've I had feel, guns you know, I'm before. Dead. I don't like that feeling because they're all slinging them. They all got them. Yeah, for sure. You know, man, whatever. That is what I, I just is. assume everybody has a nine millimeter on them. That's just my thinking. Everyone's got a Glock 19 on them, so you better be ready. Nobody here in Texas has a Glock or a nine millimeter. What oh, do they yeah. have? They all have 1911s and revolvers. And, and 44s. What is <laughs> <laughs> yep. They, they have got, them barbecue guns, the 45s. Yeah, they got guns when if they shoot you in the arm, they're blowing your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> well, if well, you're going to do it, you, yeah, listen, you got to go hard or go home, right? Well, that's why I like the 10 millimeter, and Lee likes the 10 millimeter too, because it's a, essentially a 357 Magnum with 16 rounds in it. Yep. So I mean, you get the boast of all best of all worlds. I, well, love I like that Anthony Romundi. He he had a. All uh, right, look. He had a gun that had thirteen shots in it, even though. What the, the three eighty? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to show you. Keep this name in your brain, Tommy De Phillips, Thomas Pee Wee De Phillips, the mob boss of the Genovese family from Jersey. I'm going to show you his house where he lived. He's dead right now, but you do your research on Tommy De Phillips from Belleville, or Newark. I'll show you where he lived. Can you go knock on the door? He's dead. They're gone. Different no, people go knock on the door and see who answers. Just fuck around. Uh, he, was, he, was the, he was the boss of the Jersey faction, but yeah. when he came to Brooklyn and Staten Island, he was a coffee boy. So he that, was, yeah. That's he was what it was? Soprano? He was like Tony Soprano then. Yeah. Look him up. Look him he up. Was he a, killed, glorified, uh, a glorified crew. Look him up. He killed Pussy Russo to get made captain. He's, then it that sounds like Tony Soprano. He killed this Pussy. is Soprano land. He killed Pussy Russo. Look it up. You'll see. It's true. Did We're they, in they, Soprano did land. They this, Sopr did they base the Sopranos off of him? This is Soprano land. This is where we're at. That's where we're from. Look at, okay, I'm going to show you right here. This house here on the left, on the corner with all these big bushes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, if you see us, there's a HBO series where Pee Wee's getting let out right there. I wish. So he had a, uh, this is all his property right here. I, I think you can see through my tinted windows. I think you can see pretty good. And it's not, it's one of the biggest houses for our neighborhood, but you could see it goes around all these trees. Behind there is an in ground pool with a whole like cabana area. And that was his house. That's where Pee Wee the Phillips lived right there. Why do you always, window, why do always, a, always a Cadillac right in that driveway? 
And then this is the neighborhood. Look how humble the houses are next to him. Oh, the houses look nice, though. Yeah, they're kept nice, but look how close they are. And, you know, yeah. what's the they're price? right next to each other. What's they're, the they're, what's there's the price range 10, out there? What's the there's price basically range 10 feet between the houses, you know? Yeah. How, what's the price mm -hmm. range of those houses? Mm, I don't know. The price, the value is up right now after that. After the shutdown and everything, the, the Belleville area just skyrocketed. So I really couldn't tell you, you know, I'm a renter. I rent a, I rent a one-bedroom apartment. So I don't know, maybe six, fives, fives? Hey, don't ever say on here that you rent a one-bedroom. They're going to start making fun of you. Oh, yeah. They, know, they, these, they're going to tell you you're poor right away. Like I have a <laughs> scratch on my wall and people Look, come these on. Are in like, the, these, are, these are in the fives or sixes, maybe fives, if depending on what kind of shape they're in. But you really got about a foot between each house. They're really close. Yeah, but you know what? If some people like that shit. Oh, I, <laughs> I love know. it. Oh, that's all me. I love it. Yeah. But, I'd, rather, I'd rather have a little distance. But, but I, I like having a backyard. I got a corner house with a big-ass backyard and a big front yard right. and a garage. I, I couldn't live yeah, like yeah, that. You know who has the most expensive out here? The the man on top right here. How much is your house worth? Uh, hey, Joe, you got a million dollar house all day up there. Joe, how much uh, is your house worth? A couple of hundred thousand, maybe. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what, the bathroom? That's yeah. the down payment. Fuck. Forget about it. Well, I don't even want to think about that. A one bedroom house in California goes for a million dollars. Yeah, uh, JC probably has the, the nicest house out of all of us. I think he has like five bedrooms or six bedrooms. So, Check out this street, guys, right? This I is have, about two I have six bedrooms in Staten Island. Damn. This is about three blocks from where we were in Newark, where I showed you guys. Hey, Joe, hey, hey uh, Tommy, why don't you start like a dash cam show? You should. I do. I have a lot of videos of Newark and Belleville on my dish. On you my, should do on a pizza YouTube. reviews, man. That's where the money's at. Go to I Santillo's got incredible, there's Pizzeria, incredible man. videos yeah. on my YouTube. You should do incredible. Pizza Hut reviews, Tommy. Like, what's better? Like, Pizza Hut, Domino's. Why would you do right here? Reviews. This guy. <laughs> That's right here. blasphemy. Pizzeria right here. Incredible. Like three, testing. three guys walk up. Beautiful. Three guys, Pizzeria. In, in Jersey, there's supposed to be a place called, called Santillo's that I saw. Yeah, that's in Elizabeth. Yeah, that's, that's in supposed Elizabeth. to be the best. I'd love to try oh, that place. Oh, Cali, out west, did they, I heard this fucking guy. It's a real fucking shithole pizzeria. You ever heard of it? It's called Slices? Yeah, <laughs> there's this one jabroni named Mike that has a place called Slices. Okay. And I think he's a scam artist. Okay, tell us about <laughs> this place, Slices. Who's talking is about it? Is it Come really on, out there? Boy. That's Michael Francis. Francis, it's in L.A. He has it in L.A. It's not where I live, though. So it's a fucking shithole. Does he use rat cheese? Probably. It, it, you know, California has good pizza, but I hear that place isn't one of them. Wow. California has good pizza. Well, yeah, that's, you know, that's, here's that's, the deal. You got to understand. That's Cali, that's okay, Cali let G. me tell you why. Please. You got to remember, Cali G's from California. He no, doesn't no, really no. My mother's pizza. from New York. I know good pizza. Let me tell you, this is why. It's the water. You, I've heard you say it before. In New York, you guys get the water from Niagara Falls. You got that good water. In California, we get our water from Tahoe, the melted snow in there. That's why we're famous for sourdough bread in California, because yeast reacts with water in a certain way. So there I are good pizza places this. out here. No, but it's true. Wow. I've, I worked in pizza places for over 15 years, so I know what I'm That's talking interesting. about. That's very it, interesting. It's the water. It's how the yeast reacts to the water. It makes the bread a certain way. You want the bread to be flaky on the inside and soft. It, it, it's a certain way. And if the water is wrong, the dough will never be so, right. Oh, so if you say you have a yeast infection, you got to be careful when you shower. Yeah, you don't want to scratch your nuts uh, with the Famunda cheese while you're making pizza. You don't want to do that. With the Ramundi cheese? But, no, it's the Famunda cheese. <laughs> oh, the cheese from the Ramundi Famunda, cheese. my nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe's going to go on the phone now. He's off? No, I'm getting No, Joe. No, this hey, is good Joe. chat. The regular chat, right? Yeah, it's so funny. You know, you get older in life and you learn about stuff, right? And people call you a know-it-all. But, hey, it's not my fault. I've had a lot of jobs. I was a shitty employee. You got experience. <laughs> got experience. I got experience. I know how to do everything wrong. I am not an expert. Look, I'm good at sports. I don't think I'm that it, it was guns. That's about it. You're probably just one of these guys that thinks you're smarter than the boss. No, no, no. I, well, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> 
there's just people like that. You know? I end up, I end up, if that explains why I end up at the low end and then I end up being the manager yelling and then I quit. So I check it out, guys. Check, check it out, guys. Muscle, I had, Muscle says, I can't wait to tell everybody how I destroyed you. Who's everybody? Dude, listen. You're, wait, let me finish. You're in the FBS chat room. That ain't everybody. That's check the low out, live man. of the world, Muscle. Okay? So I'm going to do a show. The morning crew uh, wants me to do a show on my opinion and observations of all the content creators that are in this genre. Uh, I'm going to go down you guys one by one. No criticisms, just observations, just my thoughts, my opinions, because they know I'm neutral and I don't criticize anybody. They want my Come observations. No such yep. thing as neutral, Tommy. I don't, bother, I don't bother anybody. I don't criticize any of you guys. Nobody. Tommy, I seen you in a show the other day where a guy torched the hell out of me for his whole show. I at know. The end, at the end of the show, you know what you said to him? You said, what? oh, great, great show, great content. And Do all you did was torch me in the whole show. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm, <laughs> he had some, uh, I'm just being no. straight. The whole show wasn't that. The end yeah, the was whole different. Show, he torched me. The end, but the end was different. He didn't stay on it the whole show. He blasted you big time on there. Then now he he, great content. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't compliment him for crushing. You know, crushing you. But you know what? How I knew that, Tommy? Not because I watched the show. About ten people told me. Why can't you watch the show? Because everybody watches. Why would I watch a show where someone's torching me? Oh, all right, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I have no that. desire yeah, yeah. to watch that. You that know? makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I understand. Yeah, but the yeah. You got to back. You got to back out of that. That's a good move. Back out of it. That's a good approach, Lee. That's perfect. The reality so is, uh, the reality is, though, him and I took care of it. It's no issues, and that's that. My my problem ain't with him. My yeah, I don't really have. A problem I know. With him. I know. I know. I know. I know. Hey guys, uh, shifted gears real quick. Where's uh, where's Billy Jack at? Anyone seen Billy Jack? Who the uh, fuck is Billy I Jack? Think, I think he's in another chat room donating to somebody. Is he from Belva? <laughs> I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, it's amazing how he disappeared like that. I'm yeah, Billy wondering. Jack just passed away. Yep. So did Canon LLC. It's yeah, because they were the same person away. and they were being run by a certain content creator. Yeah, That's yeah. Why. They all died all of a sudden. You all never noticed sudden. they all disappeared. Yep, they it's left crazy. with all of the super chats. They all left together. And you know what gets me group. is all these people in here who think they're geniuses and stuff don't notice that stuff. It's like, duh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's right there in front of you. How many, uh, you know what? I, it's amazing how many pieces of shit that are really in these fucking chat rooms. Yeah. I see it. Sometimes. It's crazy. I swear to God. I, got, I, 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 I swear on everything fucking, I, let me tell you, I, I'll, I swear on anything. That if I was in front of one, oh my God, I just want right. to time one fucking time. I know, oh, dude. God. I feel you, man. 100%, I would fucking you know stab better. him right in the fucking neck. Exactly. Any of you guys <laughs> see me that are talking shit, you see me coming, run. Because I'm yeah, taking uh, a fucking blade John to Wolf, your neck. Tom, homie. John Wolf says, Tommy Stig. Right gets, to your neck. Tommy Stig gets triggered by Joey's sneakers. <laughs> My cop gets triggered by uh, Joey sneakers. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to get triggered right That's now. kind of strange. <laughs> yeah, well. When Joe, mm. hey, no one's as funny as Joe when Joe I gets drive mad. down to fucking Louisiana. My God, no up. filter. Joe, when you get mad, Joe, I gotta say, and I, I got a bad temper, you know. But he, dude, he's good. I cannot he, top your temper. Your temper is nah. fucking it all, all No, he's pretty good. It, <laughs> it, nah, because it really because listen, it's all, it's all bullshit. Like, when you get, I swear to God, if I don't do another show, I'll be so fucking happy. I was, oh, I didn't nah. do shows for two days. Come on, oh, God. What are you talking about? Forget I just it. already know. I know that they wouldn't do anything if they saw me in person. So I, it doesn't bother me anymore. It used to bother me more, but I, I just know that, you know, after all these months, nobody's doing nothing to nobody. Shut reality, the fuck guys. Up. So gonna now I'm going to have to grab little fucking drummer boy in the other <laughs> borough over there. I'm going to wring his fucking neck on camera and tell me what you're going to do then. Huh? I'll have it all on camera. Oh, my God. Because I've been down there already. Just got to go back. But here's what it comes down to. If you're going to have a show in here, you're going to get insulted. Yeah. Right. I mean, it, it, yeah. some of the things they say is horrible. Yeah. 
A bully. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you, asshole. I They've said things about my children before. They've said things about Jewish motherfucker. Yeah. They're, uh, they're I read a on Joe all the time. What the hell? Joe's a that good Adam guy. Cadmon. He made a fucking video about me. He's a real fucking douchebag. Go get a life. That's John he makes, Wolf. That's John he makes Wolf. him about me. He makes him about me, too. That's yeah. John Wolf, just so you know. Yeah, and there hey, goes John, the, the turd hey, John, bird is, is defending the scam. I'll, That's hey, listen, great. I'll drop the link. John, if you're going to say stuff, let's see you come yeah. on. He's not coming. Oh, that John Wolf is a fucking tarot card Ouija board fucking looking uh -huh. motherfucker. Seriously, go 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 fucking <laughs> go play with your fucking Ouija board, okay? John Wolf talks like he's got something in his yeah, mouth. <laughs> Let read the. Do you have the Ouija card that says you're gonna lose your front tooth and your bicuspid when I see you? Did that come up on the <laughs> Is that what's gonna happen? I'm gonna take him out. <laughs> He's just gonna, I'm hey, going hey, for hey, this Joe, one he's gonna show and up the bike hustling. It's coming show. right out. This is when the entertainment the starts, when Joe gets mad. This is fucking yeah. Let me tell you, I promise you, it's just it's just a one-two. It's just one-two to the chin, and look, we'll look. see what happens hey, after there. Because I'm not too much for fighting. I, I, got, I got arthritis. Okay? I'm, I'm not a fucking, fight, I just like I'm not a grappler, <laughs> okay? I'm not a fucking guy that kicks people in the knees, okay? Joe has a good talent, a very good talent. He can get hot, heated, pissed, aggravated, and not fumble his words. Nothing, just meticulously loses his shit. That's the deal. I'm about to bring in somebody right now that all you guys know. So, oh Jesus, here we okay, go. Okay, Sharon, how you doing? What's up, fellas? Yes. I can stop in for two minutes. Who's, who's oh. breaking balls, Joe? Who do we gotta go at right now? Scumbag <laughs> number one, two, three, four, Ooh, five. Jeffrey Dahmer looking jerk off. Who? No, Jeffrey. Uh, That's John one. Here. John Wolf. Oh, here he goes like the fucking... here goes the turd bird. The turd bird needs to get served up. He talks way too much shit for someone who's not hitting the stream yard and coming on. Have you heard the word mm -hmm. turd bird? Listen, these people are fucking out of control. They try to well, fucking gang be a great up on video somebody. Is, I'm telling you, when I give you a fucking root canal, bro, it's going to be a fucking extraction. I'm telling you, man, the front tooth and the bicuspid on my grandmother, it's coming out. Hey, I like this right now. I don't even have to say anything. I don't even have to entertain. I'm just going to sit back. That's it. You just turned it on and you let it go, right? Hey, hey, BK. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, okay. I'm going to fucking yeah. sell two pairs of my fucking sneakers, right? I'm going to sell two pairs. I'm going to sell one, two, and that's going to cover bail money, and that's going to cover the money for the lawyer. <laughs> You're going to give him a two-piece and a biscuit, days. Joe? Is that what's oh, coming? Just, look, just one, two. That's it. I like that Let's biscuit see. shot right in the gut. That's a good one. You're going to see rats jump out of that dumpster. You're going to see rats hey, uh, jump out of there. Hey, BK, um, how's everything been going with you? All right. I was just about to run to the store. Then I called wind of this shit, and I got to come fucking help my boy. <laughs> right, don't, Mike, don't worry about it. Hey, BK. This is, BK, this is light man, work bro. for me. You're my new favorite fucking YouTube commenter. <laughs> <laughs> so you caught, you caught wind of Joe's sneakers? I call wind of this fucking bullshit going on in the chat right now. And no, we got to hang it up with my fucking boy. All right. I can't see the chat. I can't see the chat. Well, here's just... what it is: if they know they're getting to you, they attack. That's how that's what they do. Are. But you know what? We're gonna listen. I keep saying it. These fucking YouTube boxing matches are gonna happen. They're gonna happen, and everybody's gonna have to fucking answer. Here's how much they're getting to me. I'm gonna have a banana. Well, whoever wants, you to know like what? Me my fucking wife shape. told me yeah. this. Yeah. How do you peel a banana? From which way? You're supposed to do it from the bottom, actually. I know, the bottom. I do it from the top. But she says it's wrong. I didn't Have believe. a banana in honor of all these fucking gorillas in here. These yeah. morons. How are you going to peel it from the bottom? Mm -hmm. How the hell do you peel it from the bottom? Yeah. It's, it actually is pretty easy. I never heard of who peels a banana. You got to have bottom. fucking two thumbs. Yo, guys, I got to run. I, I just want to stop in really quick. All right? Oh, before yeah. you leave, BK, before you leave... Is there any words of wisdom that you want to bring <laughs> about, uh, your buddy that you love over there in the uh, FBS? He's a fucking mutt. And he keeps uh -huh. fucking saying come shit on, about me. Come on. Come on. Come he's on. Wait you're, getting, fucking you're, getting Joe, you're getting Joe. Joey wants to. Uh, you, Tommy, Tom wants to go in that uh, chat room tonight. You're going to get him up. Listen. Listen. We're going to have to just go grab fucking Harvey Villa chest. We're going to have to go grab fucking tattoo and smack him around a little bit. <laughs> Maron. Yeah, we'll get tattoo. And see Maron, me. Tommy, Great, you, know, you know, Tommy, you do know that this whole thing about being everybody's friend is going to backfire. 
Yeah, I Tommy. You, you, um, I already I see you're fucking. Shit. You're asking and for I go about my I can tell you that right now. I'm not trying to be everybody's friend. I'm not. These are, we're not. They're friends on this world right here. Friends. I, I, there's no. What? There's no. I mean, there's, listen. Johnny, the friends here are very few and far between. Yeah, you're right. You would right. you look at this. Uh, the Stephen Cutler guy. He's he's the, he follows BK around everywhere. He he's got a man crush. on him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, Steve Cutler. Steve Cutler was a great lawyer. You're a fucking ass clown. Use your your real name. Steve and for Cutler those of you want to see me, I don't use my saw. name. My real name is RJ. RJ. That's my real name. I just don't Fair. put my last name on there. Here's here's what I got. We're all acquaintances, basically, right? Yes. We're all acquaintances, basically. And in my personality or my way or my upbringing, I respect you until disrespected. If I get disrespected, Lee, I can't. Can, I, you know, I don't know how I'm going to react, right? In a bad way, with disrespect, right. you know what I mean? But otherwise, right. until that moment, you're not going to hear me, you know, criticizing or just, you know. Yeah, but if you have an opinion, speak it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. This, in mind. That's Absolutely. why I'm getting a sound effects board, okay? Because when Absolutely. Tommy's saying that, wouldn't it be great if the Godfather music was playing in the background when he said it? <laughs> like, yeah, that would be perfect. I'm telling you. Once Tommy dispenses advice, it's like... Uh, Don Vito Corleone. <laughs> okay, we got a great show, Lee. Joe, take off that hat, bro. Yeah, I'll take it off, all right. <laughs> all right, guys, I got to run, all right? I, I, don't like, later. I don't like taking... Take care, BK. Off. God take bless, care. brother. Good talking, everybody. Keep up oh the good work, God. man. You're a fucking wrecking ball. Yeah. This, is good. this is good chit-chat. This is good, Lee, you know? Oh, I swear to you, I want to grab one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the chat, so I'm only lo looking at you guys, you know? I'm pretty sure that the turd bird is Tim Reed, just by his the way he comments. Hey, Have I you heard? Guy, hey, listen, I got a guy running for Congress over here. You know what wait doing? a minute now. Wait a minute. Is, this, is that you, Gunsmoke? Which one? Come on, Gunsmoke. We know who you are with these fake fucking. Yeah, movies. Gunsmoke has a lot of fake ones because yeah. he's a big fucking coward. Doesn't he's, he's a fucking. He's a good he's guy. A man, no, Gunsmoke. he's a fucking coward. He's a no. Fucking he's a good guy. guy. I love Fuck him. That guy, Gunsmoke's bro. a good guy. Come yeah, on, he's a good Gunsmoke's guy. Gunsmoke's a fucking yeah. cock smoker. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's one of those guys that would never come out of his house. The worst thing he <laughs> ever did, the worst thing Gunsmoke saying, ever down, did was become friends with stuff. FBS. He ruined his whole fucking whole career. He was actually talented. He was. He had just fucking ruined it. He, yeah. he ruined it by sucking that FBS dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> he ruined it. You fucking screwed up Tommy Stiggs, man. He's going to no, be in, he's in trouble now. Tommy, can you flex for us, please? I'm in the sun somewhere. We, we need a flex, Tommy. That's that's what it's like living here. But that's where you live. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. Just you know, it's like uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Hey, Tommy, is that a is that a leg hanging out of your fucking trunk? <laughs> <laughs> it's city living, basically. You know. Forget about it. <laughs> hey, Tommy, can I ask you a question? What's your rent like? Hold on, one minute. Life is hey. better on. Hey Lee, I actually gotta go. My son's uh no problem. is here. I really gotta go. God bless everybody. And I think JC right. wants to get in. He, he's gonna hit the link. So you guys, you guys have a great okay. day, everybody. Take care. All right, man. Have a good one. What okay? What's it, Lee? What'd you say about rent? I mean, what's the rent like out where you are? Rent your... rent for one bedroom go from between you can get between maybe eleven hundred and probably you know a high end, a higher end place. 23 it all varies in texas you can rent a house for that much yeah it's north jersey it's just going to be you know and it, you'll actually get something in texas you get a backyard um, fenced your dog's gonna run around you know well i am literally 12 minutes from you know manhattan so yeah well that's There's true do you have any so do, you have why? A, do you have a dog do i have a dog yeah yeah i told you my but it's with my ex-wife Oh, they get everything. They even get the dog. Maltese. Yeah, they get everything. Yeah. Hey, talking, even about, the dog. Hey, talking about handsome, we're going to bring on a very handsome fellow right now. Jake C., how you doing? Good. How about you guys? How are you? Good. We don't want to hear what kind of music you listen to. Hello? Oh, that's not you. That's not me. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, no doubt. That's the guy with that also mm-hmm. likes sneakers and basketball. The, uh, you, know, uh, you know what? Uh, we're having a uh, – I've got it. I've had a few content creators who've reached out. We're going to be having probably a casino action night out here sometime in March with more than one current YouTube content creators that are coming to Cali uh, to meet up. We might have one in the, in uh, Beverly Hills or Brentwood. We're not sure what, the, where exactly yet, but we're talking about it. Hey, Tommy Stiggs, I want to, I want to, I want to show you something that I heard. Give me your opinion on it. Okay. FBS All right. said Tommy's trying to be a friend to everybody and he's a friend to no one. All right. I'm acquaintances well, with everybody. I'm not friends with any. Well, I'm acquaintances. I, 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 like you, I think you're a good guy. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm an acquaintance. I'm an acquaintance to all friends. I don't know. That's a tough word. That's a strong word. I only have, you know, I got some serious friends, but acquaintances we are. Well, Listen, right I got a couple of friends. Everyone's a stand-up guy. Everyone. If you're a girl, you're a stand-up guy, too. When I go out to New York, I'm staying at Joe's. <laughs> I got I got the perfect bed for you, too. Joe and I are going to do a show my, together. My border collie. You sleep with my border collie. I've, I've slept with plenty of dogs in my life. <laughs> right, Mr. Milo? <laughs> you want a friend, Mr. Milo? Okay, talking about... So, okay, so we got three single guys and a married guy that's probably more single than the single guys. I can't help it if, uh, you know. I can do whatever a, I want to do. I'm a, I'm a magnet for the, uh, the other uh, gender. So, uh, JC, do you have any uh, women in your life? Women is in plural? You know, women as in, like, women that you hang out with, you date. Uh, no, I don't have a, a steady chick. You know, I, I go out on dates and stuff, but uh, the the woman that I spend money on <laughs> yeah, you is call my that? daughter. I, I my my daughter's a teenager. She gets my uh, she gets the majority of my excess revenue. So, and what what my daughter doesn't get, my ex wife gets. So it's all good. Hey, don't you see a bad sign here? We got a bunch of older single guys that have no women. I got a woman. I got a lady friend. I told you, I got a lady friend. I keep company. Yep. I say lady friend. That's an old-fashioned term, but, you know. I, Joe has a lady I, uh, friend that he's married to. <laughs> right, Joe? Just, just a roommate. <laughs> just a roomie. Hey, Joe, why but, do I got a feeling that your old lady probably is the boss of your house? Because they, you're they all are. Because you're absolutely wrong. That's why. There's only one boss in this house. The are dog. You one of those guys that, are you one of those guys that feel like the Italian man runs the house? No. Not at all. The dogs run the house. The dogs own this shit. That's the dog's house. They definitely run my house. But my wife is an old school Italian, so she knows, you know. Hey, uh, Stiggs, do you, get, do you get to see the dog? Does the dog get to come visit you and stuff? Anytime I want. I can go get the dog right now for a week if I want. Oh, really? Well, that's good. Yes. No issues. And how old is the dog? Uh, 10 was a rescue. We rescued it. Uh, they found this puppy on the street in uh, Mississippi somewhere. Matted and cold and dirty and oh, hungry. Man. And we rescued him. That's yeah, when great. I, when, when I went my well, way, we had three dogs and a cat. I got two dogs. She got a cat and a dog. That was it. Yeah, we gave him a good life. So whatever happens, happens. You know, and you could tell. You know, rescue dogs. You could see some of their tendencies. You know, they're yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah one of my blue. dogs, the rescue dog. If you put him in a car, he goes fucking crazy. Because he He's was in a, a when, he, car. when he was when we got him, he took a train ride from across the country, and I'm sure it wasn't fucking. Uh, Amtrak they were on. Oh my god. He was probably in a cage for a week. You know, it's something. Uh rescue dogs show you I guess all dogs, it's only my first dog, but I I'm sure they all show love. But I think rescue dogs, they really cuddle up to you once they find that they're comfortable. Yeah. Like, you know. I think. I don't know. That's just my understanding because it's all I know. You know, I don't know if that's 
Back to I, have a, I have a border collie, and the craziest thing, man, he I have another dog too, and he constantly herds the dog. Because I guess the border collie like used to herd the sheep or whatever. Wow, wow. So he's always like sniffing at him, pushing the dog into a corner and shit like that. It's hilarious. It's great. Okay, yep. uh, you guys want to each talk about your channels. We'll start off with Joe. Joe, tell us something about your channel. And Listen, all right. So the channel is the New York Connection. The New York Connect. What? With with Gay Eighth and some other people. Come on, what's and, your channel? Uh, do me Come a on. favor. The guy, any the guys that are in this chat, do me oh a favor. God, so. Don't come on my. Don't sub to my channel. I have oh, four hundred subs. The subs I have right now, I am so so happy with them. That's good. Yes. So, do me a favor. Don't come on my channel. Don't sub. I have four hundred and thirty something subs. And I am happy. He's out of his mind. You know, you know what they're going to do now? I am so, Joe? so happy. You know what they're going to do now, Joe? They're going to come in as somebody else and purposely. So. Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing. They could only do that if you do shows. When's your next show? My next show? It could be tonight. It could be in three months. It could be in no, six no. years. <laughs> because what I'm trying to say is. He's random. I don't even know why I'm doing this. You enjoy it? That's all. What about me? Right here. This fucker right here. He must live in fucking Czechoslovakia. <laughs> yeah. Joe, man. You're probably right fucking. Joe, listen, you're uh, great how many people. Look, The Truth, James Jameson, Davis Dean, uh, Adam Cocknon, um, who else? Uh, a few, like, you live in the basement of your mom's house? Is that where you live? Okay, your channel. Get back to your channel. Don't subscribe to my channel. <laughs> okay, don't. Tommy Stiggs, talk about your channel. <laughs> he's out of his mind. I swear to God, he's out of his fucking this, mind. This is, this, this, is, this, is, this is a... Joe makes this show. I mean, Joe's, got got perfect, Joe's got that perfect attitude. He's like, fuck you, I don't give a shit. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing but more it's phone so calls funny, and fucking drama. You, That's all it is. More phone calls and drama. That's you it. know what it is, Joe. I will bet you though, any of these guys that do this shit, that if they met you in real life, they probably think you were the coolest guy going. He is. Even on here, he yeah. is. Yeah, because what I would do is when I take heads by cuspid in his front tooth, I'll give him a couple of blues to ease the pain. Even on here, he is. It does home with a couple of blues. You know what I mean? I don't think he's any like different he person pain. at all. He's no okay. different. In Tommy Stiggs, tell us something about. Okay, first of all, before Tommy talks about your show, his show, always go to his show first thing in the morning because you'll catch him <laughs> looking in the Second mirror. thing in the morning, and third thing in the morning, and fourth thing in the morning. And he flexes. So if you want to see Tommy Stiggs flex, and I'll tell you what, for a man of Tommy Stiggs' advanced age, that dude's got a good build, man. I'm jealous. But anyway, 53. I'll be 53 in June. You look great for 53, my man. You take good care Thank of yourself. Thank you. Thank Tommy, you. Tell me about your channel. Ah, it's basic. I don't have any specific uh, topic, genre. Right now, I just shoot the shit. It's more freestyle than anything else. I got a few guests lined up. Really, could really be some cool guests lined up. But I don't know. And this is an opinion for you guys. And you probably told me before, Lee. Like, do I wait till I get more subs to get these guests on? Do I bring them in? Is it, is it, is it, uh, Bring them on, bring them on, bring them, bring them on and, and build your show up. You know, but when, when I was below a thousand, I had Jimmy Calandra on. I mean, yeah. and Jimmy Calandra bought me 300 subs right off but the it's bat. Not a, but my guests are not about me. It's more about them. They have business owners. So what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. I know. I, I don't know. If you have 300 people like watching, say 300 people, like look at your show, let's say up to a thousand and they watch your show. That's going to be 300 people that see that guy that haven't seen him before. So even if they're not subs, there's people watching, obviously. Without right. So. You've got to build your show up. Bring on whoever you can. If you All have right. Sammy Gavano, bring him on. I mean, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. It's my, right now, 
right now it's just general, nothing specific. I break balls, we shoot the shit, have coffee in the morning. I got a morning crew. Every morning we do a little show for about 45 minutes. We have our coffee, we chit chat back and forth, and that's it. And then at night I'm random. You you see, you guys see, I'm a random. So that's it. Tommy Sticks. That's it. Everything's Tommy. <laughs> my show is Tommy Sticks. That's it. That's my channel. That should be your name of your show, all about Stigs. Yeah. Now, Joe's probably going to be my first guest. I really don't even know how yeah, to Yeah, right. Him. Okay. And I don't... Just, don't, don't, just don't be an asshole like me and use your regular first name, last name, and your third and advertise it. These guys, the these thing guys on the show, that it, these guys on the show, do they really think I'm upset? I got some guy telling me I get upset. I look like a fool. No, you don't. Friend, it's satire. It's acting. I it's don't care the, about these people. I it's swear all part, to you. It's, it's, it's all part of who Joey is. I'm it, trying to be an actor. I want to be. They're, they're filming the new Sopranos thing. I want to be a guy standing in the back on it. You know, so Joe, I mean? are you saying that if you met these guys, you wouldn't really kick their ass? If I met them, you're going to jail for that. that you're going to jail. I no, no. I'll tell you the truth. You want to know the truth? I don't know what I would do if I saw them and nope. I could tell in two seconds what their intentions are if I saw them. And See that would, way. if someone came with his hand outstretched, I can't say what I would do or what I wouldn't do. But I don't think, I don't think any of them are worth, I don't think any of them are worth an assault charge or any type of court proceedings and costs. So I would just, well, what's an assault charge? I've been down that road plenty of times. Do you really friend. think that these tough body? guys would call? Do you really think these tough guys would call the cops? Yeah, we don't even know if they're tough guys. Yeah, well, I'm. I'm the odd we don't even know. Them. Right. People live out their fantasy on here. They. They're they keyboard bullies. That's all. They're they keyboard them. tough guys. I respect the people that come on here and show their face and they know they're going to be abused. Yes. Everybody gets abused. Everybody. Yes. Absolutely. That's just the way it is. But you continue yes. coming back and showing your face. It's like you're saying to people, That's fuck me. you. I don't care what you think about me. That's what it comes oh, down yeah. to. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Do you think it, some right? of these people, the, the people like, you know, that I mentioned earlier, are the, can you find them? Like if I started looking around. Sure. Would I be able to find out where they live, what city? Just ask me. I'll tell you. I know where half of them live. <laughs> okay. I'm kidding. I uh, know. I well, you, you told me where Adam Cadmon lives. So. John Wolf. He, well, he does the videos. He drives around yeah. North, North, North yeah. New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't care. But he also carries He also carries big guns. and. I would. Big guns. He, I got a he's big gun in between my fucking gun. legs, you fuck. Forget it, big he guns. Big guns fuck. and he drives a big truck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Big gun. Yeah. I'm All worried right, about that. I'm going to bang that off. Gun up his ass. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm going to bang off, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Wow. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for coming on. Joe, thank you for the great. All right, guys. Tommy, thank you for the entertainment. I appreciate yeah. it. Listen, I take. I'm the. I'm the YouTube tough guy now. Thank you. <laughs> Did you enjoy going through my neighborhoods over here? Absolutely <laughs> not. Have a good one. <laughs> Later, guys. Take care. Bye. Okay, people. That's uh, you guys really got to my guest today. Come on, guys. You know they're not bad guys. You know they they come in here and they're here for your entertainment. And uh, of course, you're going to get some nuts. Polly says goodbye. <coughs> what? Don't what? <coughs> Don't start barking at me. Well, sh my dogs are telling me they want to go out. But thanks, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all very soon. You guys take care. Enjoy your Friday night and be safe. Oh, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel.